Check one, two, one, two, we on set. One free, you one free. Vibe. You know the vibe. <clears throat> yep. Good. <clears throat> okay, okay. Um, I think hold yeah, on, we hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, look, he's doing it now. <coughs> no, it's cool, doing it's cool. it now. <laughs> it's cool, this is footage. Yeah. We, this is us seeing what um calisthenics people eat for dinner. What their, <laughs> <laughs> what, what their meal prep routines are. <laughs> no no, yeah, no we meal prep. All year round, you know what I'm saying? We stay eating all year round, we can eat what we want, you know what I mean? Yeah, we, we yeah, can is, eat. Is there a diet plan? No. Nah. No? But I just no see. junk food, no junk food, innit? I stick no, to okay. no, no, but no. What like, would you class as junk food? Like McDonald's and all of that, none of that. Okay, so that. like Jamaican food is good. Yeah, that's good, man. Like, anything you. To a certain extent. You, <laughs> like we weren't, we weren't overdosing stuff. What about dumpling? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm cool. His, okay. he, he gets a bit fat, so it's like it's different for him. So you don't put on weight. I don't put on okay, weight. Okay, okay, nah. so it's down to the body, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he you... puts on mad weight. All oh, right, right. So you, 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 you was fat before, <laughs> no? Yeah. You was fat before. What before calisthenics? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. met him and he was flying on bars. Yeah. When he was fat, bro, straight up fat. Damn. So how do you how do you do bars when you when you have weight on you? Because that's yeah. a good question. Bro, ask your boy's uh, spin doctor, innit? Like, he's... Nah, yeah, bro, but, but bro, he's... do you know what it is? Nah, nah, yeah. like, you just gotta move. Yeah? If you stop moving, then you lose, you know, the muscle memory kind of type vibe, and then, you know what I mean? You just gotta keep moving, you can't stop. So you have to just keep going? Yeah, You have to push like, yourself. You, you have to try as well, you have to try. I feel yeah. like big people don't try. Like, I, I can't really say, <laughs> I can't really say because I'm, I'm tiny, innit? Yeah. But I was, I was weak, you know what I'm saying? When mm. I started, I was weak. Yeah. So, like, people that are bigger are... are are stronger. You just okay, gotta right, try, right. bro. That's all it is. See, if you don't try, you're never gonna. It's never gonna succeed, isn't it? It's a different struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Everyone's got a struggle. You've got to appreciate the struggle, really, isn't it? Yeah, and push through. You get me? No, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, I get me on. Uh, Wait, I'm gonna pass it to you. Rice and peas and curry. I'm, 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 I'm gonna pass it to you now. This, this is what calisthenics people eat. It's the, it's the calisthenics diet. <laughs> but you know what it is? We're in the south, man. Yeah, we have to appreciate that, like that. that, that, that <laughs> no, right now I'm in I'm in Miami. So, bro, everything is expensive there. Oxtail, bro, is forty dollars, bro. Serious? Wait, well, you bro, don't have yard food? You don't have yard food do. in Miami? We do, but bro, imagine oxtail, large oxtail, forty dollars, bro. Yeah, damn, bro. For what oxtail and rice? Rice and peas, steamed veg. Forty dollars, bro. I'm for telling one. you, for one. For one. That's crazy. That's crazy. Right now, I don't know what it is, but yeah, Oxtel's like exotic. It's like exotic. It has gone up in price though. Is it? Yeah, because you've you got to think about what it is. Bro. Oxes tell. Uh, like, people actually think about what it is. No, no, no. Like, they just think it's meat. You know? They just think it's meat. Yeah, that's why there's not much meat on there. Yeah. And there's a lot of fat as well. Oh, so tell. You suck it through the bone, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fire, 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 fire. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that, that to, was fire. Yeah. That was fire. That was fire. <laughs> so suck the bone. <laughs> <laughs> that was fire. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hurry up, man. Where are you guys from, though, ethnicity wise? I'm Filipino. I'm Filipino as well. Are both of you? Yeah. And you like yard I'm food? Pure. Alright, so look. Where Jamaican I, food, yeah. Like, where I, I, used, to, I used to live in, in, in flipping Bristol. Mm, okay. And, you know, to, like, my theory is that, you know, like in England, there's five main ports. Mm. Yeah, so back in the day, it was like, Bristol was like, like on the border. Of Cardiff, so oh, there were right. one of the ports where, you know, the boats and that came in and whatnot. So there was a lot of like Caribbean, yeah, 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 India, like uh, it's diversified down Bristol, and every corner, bro, there's yeah. like there's like a yard shop. All right, here you go. My one's ready. Ah, yes, so we're here. <laughs> Good to be back in London. You know what I mean, my bro? <laughs> but what's this Wait. main 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 choice? You just gotta choose one, bro. There's no curry goat. Nah, it's just. A Did you get one for bread? Right. No, I'm just gonna share with her. Okay, and you can have some of mine as well then. Okay, Second main. It's like a, it's like a monster feast one box. Or something Rice like and that. peas. The meal thing. First side. Rice <laughs> and peas. <laughs> so what other, what other food do you guys like? Alright, so look, yeah, for me, I can eat whatever I want, yeah, but mm. then I, I do stick to a diet. Okay, right. Like I do, I will do clean mm. more or less five times a week, five times a yeah, five five days out of the week. Sorry. Like Monday to Friday. Yeah, like Monday to Friday, I'll mm. eat clean. I'll try not to go out, you know, and then I'll meal prep myself. I'll cook. I, I chef up too, so you know I know what's going in in my food and all of that. And yeah. then weekend, you know the vibes. If we're out, my will. 
but you can mm. eat wherever you want, like in, course, in moderation. Course. Yeah, in any yeah. moderation and like not not like I don't overdo it, kind of thing. It's not always it's not always like a shitty diet, you know what I mean? Yeah, you order. Yeah, <clears throat> no, I didn't order. I just oh. trust that thing. <clears throat> I'm not gonna order someone's phone. <laughs> but yeah, so sometimes we eat good. We living good. You know? <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> where we living? Oh, just two months to feast, yeah. Um, check the dress, bro. Alright, so we ready now. We ready. Yeah, now. okay. Cool, then, yeah, cool, let's, cool. Man, probably let's, 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 yeah. You want to so do, do, do an intro? You want to do an intro? You want to do an intro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though, he's gonna edit it all anyway, but yeah, we'll do, we'll do the intro. Yeah. Who's the editor? Hey, behind the scenes, salute to you, my boy. <laughs> yeah, like, do you use AI yet? No, no, no ban that. Don't be using my face no, as no, AI, no, yeah? No, no, no. <laughs> you see, no, you see that? No, they come here, oh yeah, let's use these bands to interview I mean, and you use that face too. as AI. So, yeah, not, not like, obviously he's not going to have the, the real creativity as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a human being. That's what you're saying. I can't lie, yeah? With the AI thing, I use it to write scripts. That's cool. And I do, I will, I do I will as well. use it to say to I will say to it, raw. Ask me questions you need to know to write me the best thing yeah. for this, and then it will give me a list of questions, and then I'll answer it and then get. Nah, the I love that. I, I, let me tell you this year, AI is taking over. It's a good thing and a bad. There's pros and cons. Like in a in a content world, say for example, you had five different edits to to deal with now, and you have the deliverables like two weeks. How are you gonna do that, bruv? You're gonna have to stay up until 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, bro. So, like, to a certain extent. Yeah, we be, they better pay a, us more. They better bro, pay us more to, to use a, our AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To a certain yeah, extent, that. bro, yeah, like, you have to give the AI a couple, two or three jobs. Yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah, Ola, yeah. Ola, and then you can just tweak it after. 100%. You know what I mean? So, I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah, you don't definitely. Use it, you're full yeah. And you can use it for um, subtitles. Yeah, yeah, subtitles are good. Subtitles yeah. are reels and it's the faces I don't like. Because everything that AI knows is from like the that. human mind anyway. I don't like the face. They jacked it though, from man. the human the mind. Fa- anyway. what's, what's that? What is it? Face tracking or whatever? What is it? They jack your face, bro. Yeah. Have, you, have you seen Black Mirror? Face swap. I don't yeah, like yeah. that, bro. Have you seen it? The Black Mirror, Salma, Salma Hayek episode. Yeah, I don't like that, man. Yeah, I, like, yeah. I don't want someone someone taking my, taking my face and putting it on some someone else and trying to be me. Bun that. Yeah, That's yeah. Mad. Because they create the narrative. They'll be they decide committing what, crimes. what you're doing and yeah, exactly. They'll be committing crimes and they say it's me. Yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah exactly. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, the, the scammers right now, you, you lot are smart. Bear smart. They're smart Fraudsters now. out here. They're yeah, techie now. They're bear techie now. It's a scary future, I reckon. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, they're bear techie. You're alright, bro. You're in Miami, man. You can just go there, bro. No, bro, it's the, <laughs> it's the, finesse, it's the finesse capital of America, bro. Is it's it? Built, it's built on coke, bruv. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's right, built yeah, on yeah. Scarface, bruv. Come yeah, on. Yeah, it's, a, it's a finesse city, definitely. It's, it's a finesse city. city. <laughs> Telling you. All right, let's, let's introduce you guys. What's, what's your names? Wait, move, right, right, wait, right, wait, right. wait, hang on. Move, move, right, right, move right, your phone, man. Bro, it's crazy because everyone's fucking <laughs> running me Just put me it down. over there. Everyone's running me down, like. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. All right, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Proper settings. All right, let's get it. Cool. What's what's you guys' names? What's your name? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So my name is Jay Chris, aka Small Spartan Jay. Yep. My name is Cyrus, aka Starboy. Stop me. And that's 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 the name. <laughs> Starboy. <laughs> UK. Chase. Hey. Yeah. And that's the names on the socials, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of like. So my government is Cyrus. His government is Jay Chris. But you know our character in the calisthenics world. No, in, in the it's influencer the world, influencer kind of world, world, influencer, whatever you want to call it, we have, a, you know, a, right here. Our, look, you will see it right here. Small Spartan J, a Starboy Star UK. You know what I mean? That's our right alter ego. You, you know, know what I mean? That's us. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, what do you guys do? You wanna go first? Yeah. So we are, are, are like where we where we grew is from the calisthenic world, but now we are kind of like you know influencer. We do content, content create, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah. yeah, yeah, we came from the calisthenics where we were cali- the UK's number one calisthenics athletes. I was world champion in calisthenics. Bro, I'm going over the few trophies, right? boy. I got like this one right here, <laughs> and this big one right here. They're, they're taller than you. Oh, um, bro, they're, they're, they are taller than me. They're bigger than my torso right now, man. Um, and then we, yeah. we kind of franchise into something different now. Now, now I'm boxing, I'm boxing oh, as right. a profession now. Um, and yeah, we're, we're content creators, man. That's what we do. We're here to entertain yeah, yeah, yeah. and to inspire the world and show people what we do and how we get, got to where we are now. 
Yeah. We've That's been, amazing. We've been doing content creating since <laughs> 10 years, a decade now, bruv, before it was even No, was it 10 years? Yes, bruv, 2013. Yo. You know what I mean? We learned, we learned how to shoot our own content just because we're flying on the bars, mm. bro. But we got inspired by so many people, bro. Like, mm. people think, like, we got inspired by a lot of people. Any names? We got Spin Doctor. Physically, um, majority of us bar breakers were all six foot or above. Hey, Come bar on. Break. Shout bro, out to bar breakers, like man. six foot, I think it's six foot five, six foot and six. And by the way, yeah. Six foot three, <laughs> six foot three. By the way. Big, big six foot three. I think it's like 100 kg flying on bars, bro. Great. So it's a, it's a bit of an, it's more of an inspiration to see someone like him flying bars. Yeah. But it's inspired us to, like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a small Asian guy. He's kind of like bigger than me, but. It's like, but nah, like, Bar Breakers is one of the OGs mm. in the game, yeah. Mm. Just so Bar Breakers is, is like a group. It's like a group. It's, like, it's, it's, it's a team. It's a team, team yeah. So we're Bar Spa, mm -hmm. they're Bar Breakers, you know what I mean? Yeah. So kind of think of like Space Jam. You know them, you know them guys? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The Space Jam guys, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they're yeah, the yeah. one. They're Bar Breakers. You know the big alien donnies? Yeah. That's what the Bar Breakers. They're the Bar Breakers. And we were Bar Spa, so we were like Bugs Bunny and that. But like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that was like the vibe. Yeah. They were the team, but like, you know, it's all love. So we got love. we got influenced by bare people, man, bar stars and stuff like that. But we just took it, we took it from different countries and places and people, and mm. kind of would I wouldn't say blow it up, but we kind of made it like commercial calisthenics and street workout. We mm. kind of made it more commercial here in the UK, and we spread it all over Europe, bro, like all over, like yeah, crazy. Like what he means is like you know we took it out outside of England. Mm. And we just made it as a lifestyle, innit? And we made so, it, we blew it up, bro. Yeah, so like, crazy. so like, how can I explain this? My mom was competing, right? Yeah. We was getting, we, like, when we, we basically become like a team, Jay was competing, repping UK. He was putting the UK on his back in the freestyle world, yeah? He was going to FIBO, one of the biggest fitness expo in the world. That was in Germany. Yeah, going to LA. We were basically traveling. Switzerland, Dubai, Russia, yeah. Ukraine, uh, Lithuania. You went to Lithuania, yeah. no? No, we I went, didn't. No, no, Latvia, Latvia, Latvia. 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 We went to the craziest places in the world, Poland, and we yeah, just won yeah. everything. Like, so we like, won everything. So like, so, like, we took it, he took it on his back, and then obviously, some of the Spartans, we were just on it, on traveling. We were just on jet life. That's what we would call it. Jet life, you know what I mean? <laughs> we were on jet life from the get go, bro. From like, 2014 all the way to 16. Bro, we was in Dubai before all of these rappers be out here in Dubai. Oh yeah, splashing out yeah, on the whip. Nah, oh no, 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 you're doing G wagon. <laughs> we was there before, bro. Before. But like before. on the fitness tip. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, were yeah, on the yeah, fitness yeah, tip yeah, 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 and yeah. like we would just be on jet life. Yeah. So like I can I can tell you guys I've traveled the world swinging on bars. That's my bar. Yeah, every yeah, single yeah, time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I like bars, that. And I get paid. World. I get paid to swing on bars. Every do handstands. I've been, you've been to basically every continent. Yeah, basically. Except for, oh, I've been Africa. Yeah, I've been, been Africa, Africa yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Been to, he's been to every continent. I've nearly, you know, been to Bro, every he single. lives in America now. Yeah, we pattern. <laughs> like, you, know? you just... just... Where, where in America? Miami, baby, 305, Dade County, let's go! <laughs> 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 no, but you know what? I rep UK still, man. I still, I, I love the UK vibe. But, yeah. Yeah, bro, I, I, I transitioned in, in Miami when I met my wife. And then from then on, I just, you know, COVID happened. Yeah. They made it really fast and transitioned to that. But Is that what made you move out then? Yeah. So COVID happened, everything was locked down. Yeah. And Miami was the only place. Miami was the only bro. place, yeah. And because his wife is from Miami, big mm. up star. Yeah, big up baby mama. Baby fit. mama fit. Check her out, man. Big up. So they were just like, yeah, let's do it. Let's move out. Yeah. He's even going back there. Well, you're going back home in like, what, next, on Monday? Yeah, so I'm going back Monday. I just come to pick up my daughter, Precious. Shout out, Precious. Come here, come here, quick, quick. Just put your Shout face in the camera. Come, come on, come here. Where you going? Hey. Yeah, 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 come here. <laughs> but yeah, so her tag, by the way, is a Precious thing, you know? Oh, oh, she want to be in it now. Hey, Jeez. look. Look up Precious, Precious. Come to pick her up, you know what I mean? Real quick, and then she's coming back to Miami. Has, and then she, when, has when, she tried the bars? Of course, bro. Yeah. Oh, she's good. She's good. Bro, she's good. I'm going to put good. the tag, and you guys going to check it out. I'm going to put her tag. Oh, uh, sick. Yo. Yeah. But before, before they, they were going to Miami, we thought, we thought, like, our boy, Big Up Slim, we thought, like, yeah. we, we right, squeeze right. in this interview with you lot, man. Yeah, that's how definitely. it is. You lot are family, so that's how it is, man. Yeah, love, man. Love. Yeah, so we just made it happen real quick. Because mm. so, I'm about to leave. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I can imagine. You're Monday. busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going because it's been raining out here, but I'm going back to the heat. I'm from <laughs> London, though. Don't get twisted. I'm from London. <laughs> You're staying yeah. in Northwest, London, Northwest Camden hey. all day. <laughs> Don't worry, after all the rain, we've got six weeks of. Uh, 
Well, we had six weeks of rain. Now we've got sunshine. They're lying to Next us, week. bro. Sunshine, they're lying. man. Heat wave. They're lying. I swear my life, they're lying to us. That's crazy. <laughs> no, fair enough. So before Miami, what was the story? Where did, where did you guys grow up? Uh, you, want, let, you go you first. Start. You go right, first. So you look, go. so I migrated in... I'm from the Philippines originally, mm. yeah? I migrated when I was like 11. Came okay, here. Okay, right. So you remember everything? Yeah. yeah. So I came to England when I was 11. Because my mum's a nurse, you know? So I migrated over here. Um, cut a long story short. I got into like the troubles. Got hanging around with different crowds and whatnot. Went to jail. Caught a little three and a half year case intent to supply and that, yeah. And then mm. after that, I did 20 months, came out on tag, and them times I was broke. Yo, I didn't have no money for a gym membership, no little 30 pound, I didn't even have that. You was broke, bro. Yeah, broke, bro. <laughs> and these times I started, you know, Instagram just started. Yeah. Them times there, 2011, you know, so then Early. I, 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 I started getting into fitness around them times, like it, from jail, yeah. came out, that's when I was rock, like I said, and then I started working out in the parks. And that's when I really, you know, took this fitness thing seriously. That, that's when there was no actual bar parks. It was just a bar. Yeah, like it was literally just like just playground had a parks. Bar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not even yeah. chin-up bars, like literally <laughs> playground parks. Oh, right, we would right. go to playground parks and just work out there. It's pull-ups, push-ups, dips. And then as, is, you know, as I progress, I started finding out there's people in England doing it. Mm. That's when I started finding out. <clears throat> bar, block workout, shout out to block workout, bar breakers, barbarian UK, you know what yeah, I'm saying? The old school um, guy. Merc, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's bare teams back then. Mm. Back then, there was a team. It was like. It was a bigger community. Yeah, it was a bigger community. Bigger community. But anyway, well, so. Back that's, then? Yeah, yeah like bigger. 2012, oh, right. 13, 14, 15, all the way through. So to like, like, we seven. were all passionate about calisthenics. Yeah. yeah. The sport. Not about. Like, it's different now, but we were all passionate about the actual sport. We were like, come together yeah. and just work out. It's more genuine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. It's not for the clout, like, now. Now it's all for clout. Yeah, it's so all for, I, I want to be famous on Instagram. I want to become the champion. I want to do this. This Before, it was just, we're working out, bro. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry, go on, I'll cut you off. It was before. just a passion, like, we would stay, we would work out, bro, yeah, for six hours a day and stuff, bro. But anyway, I got into that, and then I, I was working as a scaffolder. Okay, right. So then, from then, I would transition like, mm. anyway, I seen a muscle up, my, 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 one of my colleagues here, yeah, started doing a muscle up, and I was like, yo, what's this? And he showed me what it is. From then on, I started looking up and like, you know, I fell in love and I never looked back. That same year, bro, I quit my job, no backup. Mm. I just started training. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Started training. And then, like I said, as I progress, at the end of the year, bro, I found out that those people actually doing competitions and bar jams and whatnot. Actually, my first ever battle was with Spin Doctor. And I bust <laughs> up my head, bro. Oh, Remember yeah! That? <laughs> bro, listen to this. The way that was, that was like, the battle of Hastings. Spin Doctor. Backflip. Yeah, the bro. backflip. Yeah! Dude, oh, my. Dead. I was thinking, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Spin Doctor, he was putting it on the line, yeah? Oh, I was like, my days. I knew, like, I was going to lose. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> Because you, know, cause, cause you, you know when you battle against someone that's experienced, you just yeah, know. Like so you, you, got, got, you, you kind of have to like throw it down, you get me? You yeah. got two years on me or whatnot, yeah? So I'm like, oh, I gotta bust it up. I just started going crazy. <laughs> anyway, I did a backflip and I hit my leg. I, hit, I basically Damn. hit my leg on the dip bar. Oh. And my, my leg went, my feet went, boom. While he's inverted. I landed and went, bah! on concrete G, oh. like this. Conk. Back in, them, back in them bro, days, there was, no, there was no mats, there was bro. No mats, no mats, mats just pure concrete. Mm. Pure just concrete, went, whack, yeah. whacked his head. Ugh. Jesus. Smacked it, bam. Bro, I got up, like concussion and whatnot, but I still got up through the adrenaline. Yeah. I had like a big coke on my head, and I still. <laughs> and then the judges went for me. They're like, yeah, you won. You're going through to the next round. Oh. Yeah, but then obviously. Yeah, you, I, couldn't, you couldn't go on. Yeah, bro. I couldn't go on <laughs> after that. I went to the second battle and lost and whatnot, but. Yeah. Really anyway, slim should have took that bro, step. Bro, after that, we just started competing. So that's when I progressed to like, you know, this is my career now. <laughs> like, we, we, we're going to do this properly. Was that a couple years in that you started competing? Not even, bro. The oh. first year, bro. Oh, wow. Bro, the first wow. year, bro. I was just like that. One, I, I was just one of those athletes, like, bold. Like, my personality is bold. I would just do it. Mm. I'm not the type of person I'm like, oh, I'm away. I'm not good enough. Bro. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to just do it. Because I'm, ex you know, I need the experience. And for me, 
I'm more of a practical person. You know what I mean? You're like, all or nothing, bro. Yeah, I was just a practical person. But anyway, fast forward to now, or like a couple years later, we would be, you know, getting invited to all the comps. I'm talking Amsterdam, Germany, Dubai, like everywhere. Yeah. Mm. And, and, you, you still know, and then same with my man. Same with my little bro, Jay, yeah? He would get invited to all of them. So then we would be, and like every weekend, we'd come back just to change our, 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 our suitcases. And fly out again, bro. It was like literally, we'll go, we'll go to my house, bro. Yeah. We'll go to my house and we're like, oh, you have spare clothes now. Let's put it, put it in the washing machine, <laughs> dry it, put it back in the suitcase. We're going, we're going yeah, in the next yeah, two yeah. days. Damn. So we were just on that for the whole. We year. lived in a suitcase, bro. Network, it was, it was network, like, network. It was that's exhausting. How, that's how we it built. Exhausting. That's how we built our network. Yeah, that's good. through yeah. the fitness industry. Every yeah. money that we 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 made from comps, yeah, from competition, we spent it on trying to get to the next comp. Yeah. Nice, nice. Like, we just flipped it. We just, we're going to go this place. Yeah, cool, let's go do it. Yeah. Let's is, go do is it. Is there a lot of money in competition? I, I, I like back then, in the day, back oh, in the day, yeah. yeah, yeah back was. then, it wasn't, it wasn't like, yo, it's paying for the bills. But, but it will pay for then, the next, next we thing. We didn't yeah. really have that much of a responsibility. Yeah. I just had my you, whatnot, you know what I mean? I was like and 21, like, bro. When, yeah. yeah. So, I was, anyway. younger. I was younger, bro. I was 20. Anyway, like how I fell in love to, with all of this sport, yeah, because I was going through dark shit, you know mm. what I mean? I put all the negative energy into a positive energy. You know, my, ba my first baby mom, she wouldn't let me have my you and whatnot. And then I was going through a lot of, you know, I didn't, I, I'm not the type of dad, yeah, that would just leave my you, mm. you know what I mean? Like, I was going through it, but... I couldn't stop or just be depressed and just stay at home. Bro, I had to go out, work out, bro. Mm, that was, yeah. my, like that was my meds. That was yeah, my medicine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's how it like gave me the drive too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, but yeah, fast forward to now, I'm looking back, bro, yeah, 10 years in the game, yeah, looking back from then till now, I've achieved so much. And now I look, I live in Miami, I got a house. Man, like, we just bought a house, me and my wife bought a house. Nice. Um, you know, we're on that, like, grown, we pay mortgage, and you know what I mean? Yeah. We're on yeah. some, emp we're building stuff. Building an empire. From then bro. to now, bro, I look back, man's achieved a lot. And now, look, look man just, man got my green card now, you know what I'm saying? Jeez. I got my British passport, <laughs> I'm a dual citizen in the Philippines, we good. Come on. You know what I mean? So, yeah, bro. And we still building. Are you happy yeah. that I'm you still went building? Are you happy that you went through? Bro, it's the stuff? best thing I reckon that I had. If I stayed in England, I wouldn't have. I don't reckon I would have even get close to buying a house. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, yeah. Look, so look, in in America, it's easier because you only have to put down five percent. Oh, serious? Yeah, here yeah. it's ten to fifteen percent you have yeah, to put yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, what about mortgage yeah. rates? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is mortgage so, rates rate cheaper as well? Bro, yes, bro. Okay. Because it's, it's, bro, cause it's there's so, it's, so much space in America. Yeah, like here, yeah. bro, you, you have to put down, you have to put down 150 bags for, 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 <laughs> for a wardrobe. Yeah. Bro, so if I, yeah, that was the best transition mm. for me, bro. So, but yeah, that's me. That's my little story. That's like a fast forward, cut a long story short type by the star, star boy, you know what I mean? And Jay, what's your introduction to Calis Phoenix? To Cali? Yeah, how did you get into it as well? What age? Whoa, like, how did you find it? Um, so I started at like 19. I started at 19. But before that, bro, I was just like, let's start from the beginning, bro. I was like, when I was born, my real parents, they couldn't keep me. So I got adopted from birth. Okay, right. So I don't know my real parents. Yeah. Like, I don't know my, anyone that's blood related to me, my real parents. I got adopted by a woman called Elizabeth. No. Josephine, sorry, my bad. Josephine, <laughs> and she passed away from cancer when I was 10. Then I got put to foster care. And then I got adopted by my best friend's mum. That's my mum now, wow. called Elizabeth. So like, I went through it, I went through mad. But you know what, when I was that young, I didn't know I was going through shit. I thought yeah. it was normal, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was normal. Yeah. And then um, from there, it was like, boy, I got adopted by my best friend's mum, so I got three older brothers. Wow. How, yeah. how, did, how did that come about? Just through knowing him and... Just and knowing one of them. Knowing one of, one of them was my, one of my friends. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I want you to stay with me. And his mum ended up adopting me, kind of thing, after going through um, foster care and stuff like that. That's nice, man, yeah. Yeah, and then um, from there, I was like, I need to make it, bro. I need to do something. I need to make it. 
So that's where like the streets came into it. Like, uh, uh, like I wouldn't. I said it in past interviews, yeah. But the streets really made me the person I am now. I mm. learned so many, so many different things. Like it's crazy. I'm smiling now because it's like it's crazy to know. Like when I was 12 years old, I was doing things that I'm not supposed to be doing. Mm. You know, um, and I was heavily influenced by the wrong people. Wrong people. Fast forward it now. Nearly done jail time. <coughs> done. Nearly done all of that. Nothing happened, I got lucky, I got lucky. Thank, thank God, thank the universe for that. Um, like, cause I could have been like, what happened with Starboy? Like, go mm. to jail for three and a half years, but that didn't mm. happen to me, I got lucky, you know. Um, where, where, where do you grow up as well? I grew up in Camden, like okay. Northwest London, Camden. You grew up in Bristol, right? Yeah, he grew up the Philippines in... to Bris. No, wait, wait, tell him about the first spot where we were born, bro. <laughs> Bro, so look, yeah. It, this I, is crazy. Yo, I'm jet life from the, the get go. So, my mum was, like I told you, my mum was a nurse. I was born in Saudi. Saudi Arabia. Stayed in oh, Saudi wow. for two years, yeah, because my mum, like I said, my mum was a nurse, so I was born in the Gulf War. We wow. stayed in a military base, bro. We couldn't leave. Yeah, Damn. we couldn't leave the base until the war's done. Damn. That's two years. So, after two, went back to the Philippines, lived in the Philippines till I was 11. So I, bro, I come from, I from, I come and from then, third world country. And then you right? came to, then you came to Bristol. Yeah, then I came to Bristol, yeah. like southwest area, yeah. And then from that's what eleven to twenty eight, and then twenty eight, I moved to Miami. Miami, yeah. I I didn't leave Camden until I was eighteen. Mm. Like didn't leave Camden area, bro. <laughs> oh, serious? Yeah, I didn't know what South London was. Bro. Damn. Oh, see, they yeah. really get on a bus, travel. Nah, bro. The max I knew was Oxford Street. Okay, right. That's the max yeah. I knew. It was like I was so just, I, knew, I was just so, I was such in a shell, that's all I was. Yeah. It was just like me, me, the trap, the gang, that's it. That's all I knew when mm. I was younger. That's all I knew. So you, you, know? you saw a lot of that in Camden growing Bro, up? I saw, saw too much of that. Too much of that. We'll probably go through it after, but yeah, we yeah. saw too much of that. But then further down the line, it was like, the reason why I started Cali, because I thought I was going to go away, bro. I thought I was going to go jail time, innit? So I was mm. like, I can't go to jail, 35 kg, 18, small, marga, you, no, no, no tattoo. I was like, I can't do that. I'm going to get bummed or something. It's going to happen. You know, it's like, man, the maddest mindset. No way you're, you're that young. The maddest mindset. I'm just not happening to me. So what, what did I go and do? I just started working out in the gym. So I got NFA, no further action. Come Thank on. God for that. And then... I was like, oh, I can't be doing gym. Gym is dead. This is boring, man. And then mm. started doing calisthenics. I saw, I saw some, one of my boys do a muscle up. Oh, and, right. and then I was like, I need to do this. Learned the muscle up, left the gym, started working out in the park. Mm. Started going on. So I didn't know Instagram was like a social media platform. I thought Instagram was like Facebook. Yeah, you get me? yeah, so I for you and your friends. Space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MySpace. Yeah. Yeah. So I started I posting on Instagram <laughs> yeah. and then I see bare people doing it. And I was like, rah. Saw him, I met him through Instagram. Okay, right. Yeah. Met uh, Spin Doctor. Met everyone, met, met, everyone. Yeah. met Spin Doctor on there, met Bar Stars, people from America. We all connected into mm. one space. That's good. And then that's, that was it, same story as him, started competing. But we made so much noise, that was the thing, G. We made so much noise. Mm. People liked us because we made noise. Just because of the fact of what we were doing. They yeah. didn't like us because of our skill, they liked us because of who we are. That's why, that's why I appreciated it. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I personally say both of you had quite tough upbringings, to be honest. Yeah, bro. Do you think yeah. that, that drow, like, played a big role in, of course. in, in the drive for calisthenics and, and to mm. be something great? I wouldn't say, yeah, yeah I would, wouldn't say the drive for calisthenics, just the drive in general of okay, life. Right. Yeah. Bro, like, we, wanted, we wanted it. We don't know what it was, but <laughs> we wanted it. Yeah. We, wanted, like, we wanted something. We bro. wanted more. Like me and him were greedy, bro. Like we wanted, didn't we? We wanted, yeah. we wanted, we wanted the no, best like, life. Bro, yeah. you know, like yeah. everyone, everyone has their own traumas, yeah. Mm. And if you if you meet people around the world who who's like been traumatized from their past or just like struggles, yeah. Mm. Everyone, all the successful people now, they've gone through struggles, bro. Mm. And they've turned the bad situation into a good into situation. Good, yeah. Every single person that you meet worldwide, yeah, different cultures. The struggles made them who they are. Yeah, mm. they turn so lemons into lemonade, bro. So that's what it is, basically, yeah. with this whole thing with us. And like, same with the whole calisthenics industry, because right now calisthenics is underground still. Mm. We're not mainstream right now. We're kind of still paving the way yeah. for the sport, bro. But I feel like we made it a little bit more commercial, bro. I definitely feel like we 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 pushed it out there to the 
to the crowd a little bit yeah, more than, course. than than how it like I think without like the culture. I think without our generation of people there would Cali wouldn't be where it is now calisthenics wouldn't be course, where it is because now because we were carrying like I said man's carrying it worldwide yeah trust, like, trust. We're going to like brands know it. brands know about us now yeah, like I'm sponsored by Under Armour like because mm. because do we do calisthenics yeah. we did we did shoots with adidas and so many brands yeah. and stuff like that we got sponsored point, by yeah, we actually, got sponsored yeah. by adidas at one point. our whole team yeah, oh, nice. was sponsored yeah. by adidas yeah, we went to point. we went to the world cup bro nice. yeah we went to the world cup we yeah. were the only uk representative for the world cup yeah we represented england bro yeah at the world cup of calisthenics competition there was 10 teams 10 countries and adidas sponsored that yeah oh wow back yeah then. yeah back then. back then back then um but yeah, man, I feel like we've made it more, what do you call commercial. We made calisthenics more commercial and, and like more approachable. Like, like I, 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 people used to think calisthenics it was like a prison thing. It's not just a prison thing, bro. It's yeah. not just a, you see, but of jail course, workers. Jail workers. Jail, yeah. 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 Whenever, jail whenever, whenever, whenever I, we say to people, oh, we do calisthenics, or what, the, what do people do in jail? It's not only that, though. It's like more of a sport, isn't it? Mm. Um, mm. That's it. So you're, you're two times, is it world champion for calisthenics? Two times world champion. UK. The two okay, times, right. no, two times world, bro, f featherweight, WCO. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, two yeah, times yeah. world featherweight champion and three times UK, UK cha champion. champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah, 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 yeah. nice. So were there competitions always around or is that, is that something that was quite new over the last couple of years? Yeah, so the competitions, yeah. So actually, I'm gonna I'm go deeper into the bar culture, bar history. Yeah. So this whole calisthenics thing, yeah, started off in New York. That's the Mecca. Yeah, Harlem. Yeah, bartenders, rough riders. In the parks. In the yeah. parks, bro. Mm, yeah, on YouTube, so, I've seen it. Like, our, our culture, yeah, kind of started off in, as a hip hop, it's a part of the hip hop culture. Yeah. Yeah, so, like I said, it was rough. Like, there's a guy called Iborn. Yeah, he was one of the part. He was he, Iborn is a part of Rough Riders. Yeah, back in the nineteen nineties, bro, nineteen ninety nine and that. Uh, yeah, he's part. He was in the Rough Rider crew. That was when DMX was hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. DMX was hot back then. So mm. them man there was doing bars, bro, at the parks. Yeah, and then you had bartenders, right? Bartenders is is giant. Salute to my man. Yeah, and the L O X, Lok Style Speed, Jada Kish, Jada Jada Kiss. And, and sheet loops, yeah, they were on bars. And that was their form of that was their form of workout. Yeah, so they were on bars. As well. Bro, oh, they right, do it. They, they do it I'm now, bro. They yo, all do it you, now. You right, got right. you got to check out Style Speed, mm. yeah. Barbara on YouTube, and he is on the park. It's a full on song, bro, and he talks about the bars. He talk about and you lot gonna know. We're gonna put the link down in it because we're gonna scream out this bar thing. But anyway, so that's Harlem, yeah? And even Jim Jones in that. Jim Jones, wow. mm. Flipping Cam Cameron, all of that, Jules Santana, that, that crew, yeah? They're from Harlem. Mm. And so is bartenders. And then back then there was Beast Mode, and then, you know, Bronx started coming up. We had, they had Beast Mode, they had Gator, they have Highlanders, all of the old school crew, yeah? And then, you know, the youngest back then was Ed Barstars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ed Barstars. Ed Barstars and them like, were the people that inspired us. Yeah. To do so that was doing. like, there's the, the OG OGs from like 2002 to 1999 to all the way down to 2000. And then you had flipping. The OGs is Ed. Yeah. And then, and then you then, have the legends, which is us. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> come on. I, I, I. But yeah, so that's how it really come from. And then, you know, New York kind of brought it in the, in the culture, the hip hop culture, yeah? So then, obviously, the Russians now brought in the whole handstand and the strength game, one-arm pull-ups and all of mm. that, right? And then the Europeans, Amsterdam, Spanish people, French people, they started bringing in the, the swag, the, like and, the 360s and, and, the 360s and, and, the and that. You know what I mean? Oh, but yeah, I it comes from New York, <laughs> right? The dynamics yeah. aspect comes from New York. The Russians brought the statics game. And, and the, the kind of street, street element came from New York as well. Yeah. The street and element. then, the, like I said, Europeans started bringing in that sauce, bring, started bringing stuff together. And mm. then the UK, we were just, UK stand out. We, we, stand we combined out. it. We combined, we combined it. We combined everything. And then obviously yeah. Brixton and that started doing the flow. Yeah. yeah? Like break dancing on the bars. All right. Like, you know what I mean? So UK was always... Like, we always had sauce in it. We just always stand out. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because yeah, not yeah. just us, everyone. Bar break, everyone. Bar breakers, block workout. Everyone just had their own sauce. Cause, because it's like, it's like, it's like we had the, 
the New York swag, the Russian swag, the European swag from Paris, fucking Spain. But we just, like, they combined and it we just one. put it all into yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, you know how, you know how back in the day, England had colonized everything, yeah? That was us, bro. No, oh, yeah. The UK yeah, 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 yeah. colonized the thing. We, 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 we colonized the everything. We colonized and that's why the calisthenics source. and street workout, it's called street workout <laughs> and calisthenics is, is where it is now because of all of these people back in the day and us putting it out there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Pushing it. One, pushing, pushing it. Pushing it. It's like drill. Like drill. You know drill? Mm, drill it yeah. came from here. Yeah, right. Yeah. It came from here and it came from Chicago. But now it's it, everywhere. Now it's yeah, everywhere. Yeah. You got Australian everywhere. drill. Have you seen it? Yeah, Australian yeah. drill is sick. Chicago. Sick. Yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's how yeah. it, where it really come from. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? And now it's just evolved to that. But it's still an underground thing, bro. You yeah. think? It's still, bro, I feel like is. I still feel yeah. It's underground as a sport, but I still feel people <laughs> know it as like a workout now. Yeah, because it's now, like it's like CrossFit now. Kind of not not as high as CrossFit, but it's like becoming a workout. Like you go to gyms, G now. I don't know how it is in Miami, but in England or UK, you go to gyms and you do calisthenics classes. <laughs> they you got bars, basically. Oh, yeah. in America? In, huh? in, in the Ameri UK, in the oh, UK, oh, they the UK. do calisthenics classes okay, and stuff right, like right. that. Okay, right, right. Don't know, is it in, in America, do they do calisthenics yeah, classes? Yeah, so in there's, different countries... No, basically there's bars. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's bars. like high bars. Like and they call it specific. functional training area. Oh, that's okay, that's yeah. what it's called. Okay, that's right, what right. they call it, a functional training area. <laughs> but really it's a calisthenics area, because it's just bars. Okay, but can anyone do calisthenics? Cause I see you guys course, offer programs yeah. as well, don't you? Of course, yeah. bro. Yeah, anyone shout, shout out it. your programs, man. You guys do Yo, programs. Anyone so. can do it. As lo bro, the hardest thing, people, is getting out. It's getting, getting out of bed and, and getting do, and out. And start and starting mm. it. Yeah, and that's the hardest thing. Going to the gym. Get that motivation of getting out of your bed, putting your shoes on and going to the gym. It's either day one <laughs> or one day. Come on. There you go. You see that? <laughs> you get me, you get me. <laughs> you remember. That got me sweating, bro. I can't lie. I but sweat. how do you start? Do you start with a couple pull-ups? Do you start, start with... Basics, what if you can't do basic. nothing? What do you start with? Basics. You can squats. Squats. squats, squats knee push-ups. So yeah. body, yeah. body assisted, weight. Assisted yeah. pull-ups with the weight. Everything body weight, bro. Yeah. Because mm. everything in the gym, yeah? I'm going to talk some facts right now. Everything in the gym is pull and push. Yes. And that's what calisthenics yes. is. Pull yes. up some push ups. Push. Everything your legs, in the gym. You get me pulling, pulling your push. arms. Look, this is pulling. Yeah. Squatting, you're pushing pushing. up. Pushing, yep, 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 yep. yep. Benching, leg, leg pushing press, up. Push. You know what I mean? Lap pull down. Yeah, yeah. Pulling. pulling. Everything. So, everything in the gym. Everything in the gym that you can do in the gym, yeah, you can do with just your own. Let body me tell them the meaning of calisthenics. So, meaning of calisthenics is the beauty of strength. That's the meaning of calisthenics. In Latin, it means the beauty of strength. That's right, exactly let, what it means. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tweak it, yeah? Go on. It came from, calisthenics come from the Greek. Greek it, gods. It's yeah, the, the ancient Greeks. Greek yeah, word, yeah, yeah. yeah? So in Greece, there's a, there's a place called Sparta, yeah? It's an area, it's a city, right? That's where 300 come from. There's an actual area and, or a city called Sparta, and they used to train calisthenics. But calisthenos, right. spelt with the K. K-A, yeah. yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In, in Greek word, it means beautiful strength. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? Because that's in detailed know, form. That's are we talking about form. years and years ago? Bro, yeah, about 10, yeah. BC, How do you bro? think okay, these right, men right, were right. wham, yeah, bro? bro? What do you I'm think talking... they're wham lifting stone? Nah, they were wham doing push-ups and pull-ups and <laughs> lifting up their wives <laughs> and babies and that, bro. Like, come on. Yeah, so so calisthenics is more than the bar, because you mentioned squats. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just all right, it's functional body weight training. All you need is your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the world is your gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. You can use anything. your gym. You feel me? You don't need no equipment. We use, we use ca gravity and the, the world to as, as like weights. Okay. That's how okay. it is. So fat, resistance. So fat, yes. Can fat people do calisthenics? Of course, bruv. I, w I wouldn't say of fat. Course. I'm not going to use that word fat. I, I'm not going to use that. that word fat, yeah? Let me like, say it now. I'm not going to use that word fat. Upwards. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to use, we'll use the word heavy and big. Okay. Yeah? Okay. They can start from, <laughs> they can start from that weight. 100%. Bro, Tell them how much you weighed at the start. Told him how much you weighed at the start. I was more than 80 kg. But remember, Asian Filipino guys. And, they, short and they're short and stubby. He was like but a thumb, bro. Man was chubby, basically, yeah. Man was chubby, innit? Man was chubby. Mm. But he was chubby and I was a stick, like a literal <laughs> stick <laughs> twig. You get me? Yeah. Switch but anyway, blade. yeah, listen, we're gonna get through that. We're gonna get to all the We're gonna moves. get we're gonna yeah, get yeah, to yeah. all the moves, but I'm telling you. 100 kg plus, you can, you can move. You can start, yeah. I know, I, I know guys that 200, 150 kilos moving, bro. Yeah, <laughs> trust. Moving, trust. moving. Trust. I'm talking trust. moving, but like. We got a guy called, so I'm Small Spartan. We got a, one of our team members called Big Spartan, and he was 100 kg when he started. He can 
do handstands, he can do hum, human yeah. flags and 360s and twists. So yeah. we all, that's the beauty about our team, basketball. We're all different sizes diverse. and different people. We're mm. diverse. And so we could relate to us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like small guy, small Asian guy. He was the chubby Asian guy at the start, but he's not no more. Um, <laughs> Cut up now, bro. Cut up. We had white Irish guys. We had so many different types of guys to the point yeah. that we proved that you know, you can be yeah. who you are. And, and like train. going back to the bar breakers, they were all six foot plus, bruv. Yeah. All of them tall Massive ones. black guys. So imagine that. <laughs> imagine that. They're all like 100 kg, 98 kg, and yeah. they were moving. And there was no excuse for them. So there's yeah. no excuse for everyone else. They were you know moving. So, you yeah. got to start somewhere, man. You got so, to start yeah, from somewhere. There's no, it basically, there's no excuses in it. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that yeah. question yeah. is a lie. Yes. It's a lie. It's a fib. It's a fib. It's a myth. It's a myth, It's a myth. And what would you be doing if you didn't find calisthenics? Probably back I, on the roads. I'll be in jail, bro, definitely. Back, yeah, or back on the roads or doing fuckery things, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you, you know would know be mean? in jail, straight up. I'm not yeah, even... Yeah, I would have probably went back. Yeah. Or I, I probably would have joined Went them. back to the same old <laughs> path, yeah, and just stayed that way. And yeah. basically, look, calisthenics is like a discipline, isn't it? You know? You're trying to get all these moves. That's like life. It made us hungry for you know things I mean? that we didn't know what we was hungry for. We yeah. was hungry to learn new things about ourselves and our body and our mentally as well. You know, the fact the financial part came. It came, as you can see, it came. <laughs> but um, uh, <laughs> but we were more interested in like bettering ourselves. That was the beauty about the sport, bro. That was literally the beauty about the sport. Um, but yeah, definitely. If there was no, if we didn't know about this sport, I think we wouldn't know each other. Yeah. He would be in jail, definitely. I would probably be following I'm him like, with him. Bro, the network that man mm. have through the fitness calisthenics is be patterned everywhere, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Open everywhere. doors. Yeah, yeah. it's open we, door. We, yeah. we, we know so many people in different industries because of what we do. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. We know so many things. Like, for, God, for God's sake, I'm media trained now because of this. Mm. I can speak to you guys on the camera because of this. Before, I was like, on the camera, I don't want to be showing my face. And now I'm like, cool, I've got, I've got to preach what, I, what I've learned. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got to be me. careful what you say in front of the camera, don't you? Exactly, you've got the, to be careful. The internet careful, is there bro. forever. Yeah, they, say yeah one and they'll catch up on yeah. you. <laughs> you see That's BBC true. and that, you know, you man. But how many guys in the, in the group? Now, Ooh. back then, we the, was like was 16, 16 man deep in it. Oh, wow. 16, it was 16. And we had a couple of girls in that. Every yeah, time, we had a couple of girls. Yeah, we did have a couple of girls. One girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One girl that was yeah. on things. Yeah, yeah. We and always were, bro, we did. Don't we point at me. Like, <laughs> don't point no, at me. No, but every year, yeah, we would have, we would train. Man, Jay, man like Jay, we would train up these girls, yeah, and they would become <laughs> champions, bro. They would become strong, like a real sport. Do you know Spartan. what? Oh, yeah, bro, I swear, he's not even gassing. They would become Spartans, like a real sport. We train these girls, bro, and they, they get strong. Even yeah. so, I'm not going to mention names now, yeah. but now, there's a couple girls now that got gains now, yeah, and... I, I'm actually happy for them, you get me? Really, I'm really, happy. really. Happy. And like, like I told you, bruv, he would train up these girls, yeah? Train them up for comps, yeah? We, back then, back then, bruv, yeah, we would call them slugs, innit? So we would train up the slugs, and when, when they're ready to burst off, that's it. We'd send them off to the comps, and they will bust it up. Champ, number one. Number one, there'll be any girls. And now because of social media, it made it even better. It blew it up even more, because now females are interested. Yeah. Oh, look, I didn't know females do this thing now. Yeah, so we, yeah. Would, push, we would push that Get for, the me. One, for, you know, for the woman. Mm. So we would, we, every year, they would always have, and like, there's always a situation where, oh, they don't want to be a Spartan no more. So we'd be like, cool. Cool, you could just. No bad blood. Yeah, just we'll go find do the your next thing. You go you know do your thing. Yeah, trust, trust. We'll trust. find the next Spartan, and you know, every Spartan, they would go, like, they would go worldwide, bro. They would go worldwide, they would be all the champs, and like, we would just be on it. Mm. And how many in the group now? Bro, right now. Me. So look, yeah. COVID Sorry. happened, yeah. and also life. Life happened, yeah. We, you grow up, bro. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we've grown up. And there's eight of us now. Everyone's on, on their own thing. Okay, yeah. But when we, when we link up, it's a celebration. We would always link up before on some training vibe. Now, like I said, everyone's doing their now, own vibe. Now, whenever we link up, oh, so you want a quick Novakov? Let's go quick Novakov. Oh, let's go eat here. <laughs> yeah. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. We do normal life things now because we yeah. all like, kind of grew up. We'll still do our thing though. Yeah. 
So it's, it's a quite a good community of friends that... that, that of course, bro. Yeah. We're brothers now. It's like, a, bro, this whole thing... Well, fam, like, I've always said... I've bro. always I've always said to, like, uh, in interviews, like, I, I know I didn't... I didn't grow up with an actual real family with blood, mm. like blood related family. And I know that I got adopted by my family now and I love them to bits, like yeah. my, my, my stepmom and my, my stepbrothers and that. But Bar Sparta is a family for me. Like for yeah. me, we're, we're, fa we're family, bro. Yeah, like, That's it, straight up to family. To me, it's, it's a brotherhood, nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, brotherhood. Yeah. Like to me, it's a brotherhood. It's like a, it's a long life brotherhood. I'll man. ride for my, I'll ride and die for my Spartans, straight up. Yeah, I'll so ride and die for my Spartans. That, that's that's how it is. That's real good. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So you said you know with the competition you bust your head at one time. Is yeah. it is there a lot of injuries in calisthenics? Of course. Have I've, you guys I've, both I've been, been injured? I, I've I've been in that major injuries. Yeah, you've had more. Out of me. the team, yeah. I was like the crazy one. Yeah, he's quite daring. Like, yeah, yeah, bro, he yeah, didn't yeah. get so it. So out of the team spotter, I was, I was the daring one. Do you, you know uh, let I mean? me tell them the story about you in Bahrain. Do you remember that in Bahrain? So tell them, tell them, we went to Bahrain them. for the World Cup, yeah? It's a team of this four. This is the one I was, was telling you. Bahrain? Bahrain is next to the, the the Dubai. Next to the Dubai. It's in the Middle right, East. Right. It's okay. in the Middle so East. that was where the World Cup was, you know. Mm. We went to like a hosting. team battle and we represented the UK. Yeah, and we were in the, was it the, nah, semis, semi-finals. Who's that? Oh my days! Yo, what are you saying? No what way, one? Bro, listen, yeah? I was telling your brother, I was like, yo, I messaged your brother and he's been airing me off. <laughs> and then he told me. We heard, bro, we, I, I heard, well, you know me, the man them from North, we heard what happened to you, bro. That's yeah. mad, bro. Is he home? Yeah, well, I went to inside for a little while so and that. Nah, but you're coming up, man. You, get, you better come out stronger, bro. Reps every day, my G. Trust me, handstand push-ups and bar things. breakers every day. This oh, you, you know what? We're, we're having an interview now, and we're talking yeah, about you, man. Yeah, still. bro. Look, I'm telling you, man. Bar breakers. Salute to bar breakers. Maybe, yeah, maybe blur, on. maybe blur out his face just in case, bro. You know, like that. But yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Coming back out. He's coming out, fam. This is the real thing, man. You know what I mean? Hey, my guy. We're gonna give you back to your brother, innit? We're, yeah. we're, we're mid-interview, innit? So like. Wait no more, my, uh, my guy. Yeah. Hey, stay safe, bro. <laughs> Hollow bodies and that, and handstand push-ups and that. Yeah, bro, bang that every day. They work out. Yeah. <laughs> but if I was yeah, in jail, bro. I'll come out like him. I'll come out like slim. <laughs> yeah. But there's a different mentality in jail, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, true. it's like a. I don't know how to it's describe. It's more hunger. Yeah. More hunger. More, cause that's all you do. More bro. testosterone. More protective. Yeah. More. It's yeah. cause look, you're mm. in a place where it's just alpha. Everyone in the place is alpha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're you're thinking four walls, 23 hour lockdown in that, yeah? You just bang. But them times there, I didn't even know calisthenics. So mm. when I went in, yeah, I was in YO. Yeah, Young Offenders, right? Which one? Felton? Nah, 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 nah. I was in, I was in Brom. Bro, oh, I was in Brom. Brom, Brom yeah. yeah, I was in Brom, and then I ended up in Wales. Okay, right. Yeah, on some private private gym uh, thing. But anyway, Mine went to when, a private jail. Yeah. Where, that was there that was the best that That's was the low best. security that one. Yeah, I swear, no, no, I no. swear you he had kosher meals and that. Yeah, bro. Back then options. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Yeah, they had private jails. The Queen's jail yeah. is the lowest of the lowest. Yeah. yeah, HMP, lowest of the lowest. But when it's private, bro, you get good food, you can wear your own garments and man convert you know to saying? Islam. Yeah. Everything. Anyway, are you not religious? Anyway, you're joking. He, you are, innit? No, nah, oh, I, right. I respect, I respect, I respect mm. it. I respect every religion. I, sp I respect every religion as well. Yeah. I was religious, I can't lie. I was, I was mad. I was Roman Catholic for a while. Right, right, right. And then my mum passed away when I was 10 and then I stopped believing. But yeah, going back to that, yeah. So anyway, 23 hour lockdown, yeah. In the mornings, they will open your door, yeah, for breakfast, yeah. Or you can skip breakfast and hit gym for 20 minutes, bro. 20 minutes. They Did you do that? Of course, bro. I'm like, fuck you breakfast. breakfast. Yes, fuck breakfast. What, what was breakfast? What was huh? breakfast? What was breakfast? Yeah. Bro, cereal. Oh, you get dead, one cereal, dead, one dead. milk, <laughs> yeah, that's dead, that's and dead, one that's fruit, bro. That's dead, that's dead. Okay. So I'm like, yeah. fuck that. That's I'm dead. going to the yeah, thing. I'm going to the, and if you miss it, they're mm. leaving you. Yeah, yeah. They'll take like, and there's only 20 spots. Imagine this. The moment I'm ready. The moment they open the door, I'm running to the, gov. Put me down. Is it, is it first first one they get there? Of course, bruv. First, first 20. Wait, 20 people only? Bruv, 20 people Why? only, bruv. Because that's just how it is, G. They ain't got time for you, bro. Just, just put and, this and way. Time, at least you went in it, America, bro. Bro, in, America in jail, jail would be different. Time don't wait for no one. 
They're not safe. Time don't wait for no one in jail. So you mm. got to be on it if you're on this thing. So I would go hit that 20 minute workout and, and you go in the gym, yeah? 20 minutes. And if you want to do chess, yo, fuck that. Like, you, there's no space for chess. <laughs> there's no space for squats. There's no space, there's no space for anything, bruv. You just got to get it how you can. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I'll be like, yo, let me get a set after you. Bang, bang, bang arms. Oh yeah, let me jump on there, bang. Squats, me, I'm banging everything in 20 minutes. So it's non-stop, 20 minutes? Non-stop for 20 did, did minutes, Did they have basically. like loads of weights? Of course, Is it? but there's packed, ram out. Imagine every wing, there's only one gym. Every wing and every <laughs> landing would have 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh, they all got 20 minutes? Bro, right, yeah, right, yeah, but yeah. then everyone, so obviously I'll be on B wing. Yeah. And then it'll be the A wing, C wing, they will all come together. Mm. The first 20 in every single landing will go. And there's no space. Imagine, 50 man in the gym. Ah, yeah, banging whatever the fuck they can in 20 minutes. You did come out, you come out bolo, I can't lie. Bro, <laughs> he came out, he came that was the culture, that, that was the culture inside, innit? So when I come out, it was like, yo, it's nice, but I didn't have the peace for the thing. So back then, like I said, it was just gym culture. And in jail, it's all about bolo gang. Yeah, so you, you, there's no the rip big, gang. He was the biggest. Yo, there's no rip gang. Who looked the biggest? Yeah, and, and looked the biggest. And in jail, it's all, it's it's chest and arms. That's it. That's it. Who got the biggest body. chest and, and who got the biggest <laughs> arms? Yeah. That's the culture back then, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. I guarantee you, Jim is different now in jail. I guarantee nah, it's, it's the, the same I, vibe. I, feel, I feel like it's different, bro. I, I, it's the same vibe. I'm telling you. It's I feel the same like vibe. it's same. And and in England. Like you know, social time mm. or like yard time, it's an hour, but there's nothing in yard. But there's only a couple gyms actually in the UK that would have bars, you and it's the same bars as the you know, the, you know, your HQ, the green one. Yeah, there's only certain gyms in the whole of UK that will have bars, yeah, yeah, not every in the yard. So, not every single gym will have bars in it. Yard, it would just be a normal flipping like concrete space. That's it. You just do what you can. Yeah. Some so. people were doing it on their bunk beds, bro. Of course, like all of that. I That's see it on the stairs. Yeah. yeah all yeah, of, everything, yeah, yeah, anything yeah. and anything. But obviously back then, UK and America, I've never been to American jail. That really, that's how it started off too, back in the 90s, yeah. 70s even. Mm. Yeah, so that's how it started. Kind of Phoenix back then in jail. Yeah, in America. In America. Yeah. That yeah. was the culture back then, you know what I mean? But I've ne like, that's just from what I see through social media and yeah. internet. But yeah, man. What's we're that talking about? We're talking about Bahrain, bro. Where you, where you? Yeah. Anyway, there, we're going back, going yeah, back. Yeah. So we, 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 Bahrain. Yeah. So Bahrain's like in the Middle East. It's a country in the Middle East, right? Mm. We were there representing the UK. Me, Starboy. Me, Starboy. Sensei, Sensei Denton. Denton. Yeah. Oh yeah, Denton at the time was Ming and Ming. Nah, that was that, that was, was after. That was a year after. That so it was, was us four. Yeah, we went to the semi-finals. Yeah. yeah. And then we were like, cool, we got a battle the next day because it happened in the next, like, the battles e every day, it was right? like five days. Yeah, five right. days of battling. Bro, we got to the, wait, 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 no, 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 this is the no, funny wait, part. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let me tell you the funny part because part cracked me up. We went, we went to, we went to semi-finals, so like, cool, next day, tomorrow is going to be an important day. Mm. It's like, cool. Well, I was like, everyone, let's go to my room, my hotel room. This time we're in Bahrain, bro. The banging hotel rooms, so luxury. Ritz Carlton, Ritz -Carlton nice. hotel, yeah. banging Ritz -Carlton. double beds, everything, yeah. Uh -huh. Queen size bed, whatever it is, yeah. And then we were like, we need to practice a routine because we haven't got nothing. We didn't oh, think we we're damn. gonna make it this far. Yeah. yeah. So we were practicing damn. in in the ho we can't. How do you practice in a hotel room with no bars? So yeah. we were demonstrating like. So this is Starboy. We were on the bed, yeah. Starboy jumped on the double bed, he's like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to 360 <laughs> and hit the other bar. Yeah. I'm going to jump on the other bar and, me and, and I was like, no, Starboy, don't risk it for all of us, man. Don't, don't, don't fuck it up. Don't Yo. fuck it up. He was like, no, trust me, Listen, I got this, I got I this. I landed it though. Ooh, yeah, I got I this. Yeah, let, me, let me finish it, let me finish it. Let me. So I got this and we're like, cool, if we have to, Starboy is going to pull off a, a crazy trick. If I have to, I'll pull off a crazy trick. Yeah. I landed, all, so the next day we were competing, I landed all the combos, I landed my best moves, and I was like, that's not enough, yeah? And Starboy mid-set, Starboy's turn, so I tagged him in. Starboy's turn, mid-set, he grabbed the bar, and he went, watch this. He looked at me, <laughs> he looked, he went, he muscled up, and he went, watch this. And I was like, no, you're gonna do it, no, but, but, bust it. What did you do? Broke your rib. It no. broke, Yo. it so broke look, his yeah. rib so mid-set in front and at the point 
with the king of Bahrain was there the watching. The sheikh, bruv. The sheikh of Bahrain. Yeah. Was, was there Bahrain. watching. So he broke his rib while trying to do it in the middle of Bahrain. He didn't know he broke his rib. But what did you do? Yeah. Hit your, hit your so rib. Let, yeah, let, he, let me explain. Let yeah, me explain. Go on, go on, go on. So the, the move was I jump up on the bar, muscle <laughs> up on the bar, jump up on top of the bar on my feet, and then oh. jump. 360, 360 and yeah. try to land, land on, on here, the bar on here on the on back my of knees here. like this because his trick yeah. was jump on the bar i needed boom. to go higher yeah i needed to go higher guess what happened I did a 360 bam i did the 360 i landed on the bar imagine this is the bar i landed like this Kunk. <laughs> So but he, like, but he grabbed the ball. Yeah, like I you, go, you, I you went go. Poof, bro, He grabbed the ball. He hit your rib. Hit his rib, and I was like, ooh, like you know what? As your teammate, you, you knew that hurt him. No, yeah. But yeah. we, but we were on Spartans. Gender, we were Spartans, yeah, yeah. so we couldn't show that. Mm. So I was like, yeah, yeah. We was all like celebrating. Yeah, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. We yeah. made it to the finals. We, were, we, we came second, right? We came second. Yeah, we came second on the finals. Yeah. This guy World Cup. at the end, like the next day, yeah. he was like, bruv. I can't breathe. I don't think I can make yeah, the flight. Bro, so I couldn't breathe. Uh, he went on the flight with a broken rib because he yeah, came back yeah. to the UK, went to hospital. They told him he had a broken rib. Yeah, yeah. So he I suffered for whole, what, whole two days with a broken rib. Yeah, I couldn't breathe, bruv. It's crazy. Like but because we, cause yeah. he st we nah, still had adrenaline. Internal, not even internal. It was just like, it was just broken. And yeah. the, you can't really, there's no cure for it. You just yeah. have to wait. Wait, yeah. I feel like he had yeah. so much adrenaline. Bro, we won 10 bags. Nah, six, 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 six. Oh, six. Because that was e each. second. Nah, that was no, second. No, bro, it was, it was. That was second, second place. The first place won 10 bags. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay, right, okay, right, okay, right, okay, okay. Yeah, second yeah. place, six, and third place, four bags. So we just had mad nice. adrenaline and we spent all that dough so quick, bro, as well. <laughs> yeah, we crazy. went to LA. We went bro. to LA and just was like, yeah. <laughs> we was in LA. <laughs> yeah, that, was your was mad, in... that was your maddest injury, I Yo, think. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, that was the craziest one. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I had a one hair. I, I, I broke my rib as well. I had a hairline fracture on my rib. You broke yours as well. well yeah. the same, same kind of thing or different, different. You move? broke yours this side. I broke mine this side. Yeah. Oh, but same move. Or no, no, else? no. Different move. I did a five forty over the bar. I did my special trick. What, what's a five forty? So I muscled up it? on a single bar. I muscled yeah. up. I popped it from my hips. I five forty so, yeah, over the spin, bar. You spin in a five forty degree angle. So I did this. Look, look. I'm gonna demonstrate. Yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna demonstrate. Yeah, so, woof. Woof! And I grab it this way. Oh, right, yeah? right, right, okay. But I didn't grab it with my hands, I grabbed it with my rib. Damn. And then I just collapsed on the floor, I couldn't breathe and yeah. that. And then Bear Man whisked me, put me to the hospital and that. Yeah, that and then crazy. they were like, yeah, you got a hairline fracture. And I was like, how long? They were like, oh, you're looking like three months. But I was, yeah. I, I, was, I was up and out within like a month. Damn. I, with me and yeah. him, we just healed so fast. So like, we were putting mm. it on the line, boy. Yeah, we the yeah, line. yeah, yeah. They were, that, was, that was the worst injury like, I've ever had. That was, that's being an athlete. Mm. If you do any other sports, yeah, everyone putting it on the line. Football players, they're getting injured. UFC, boxing. Boxers. Oh. Everyone's getting injured, bro. So you got, mm. if you're a real athlete, yo, you, 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 you take your body, You take your body to the next limit. That's what happens. You take your body to the next limit to the yeah. point that your brain, your mind has to, has, you has breathe to do this job. sport, innit? You breathe, you wake yeah. up, you breathe, mm -hmm. you, eat, you, you breathe this sport. Have you had job. any more injuries than that? Yeah, so your like, you had your thumbs, my right? Elbows, elbows, thumbs, flipping. Are these like sprains or breaks or? Yeah, like yeah. golfers' yeah. elbows. I, I sprained my, I dislocated my, my, my left leg. I dislocated yeah. my left. We broke our fingers <laughs> from the bars. Look, I don't know if you can see, but they're all dodgy. Look. Wow. Look at, him anyway. no pain, mine, no yeah, yours are good, yeah. isn't it? Mine, mine I broke my fingers from the bars. You, sometimes you land like this on the bars, boof, mm. like that. Yeah. And you have to grab it and just suffer pain. Damn. But it is what it is, man. But like the injury, like for me, when I get injured, I treat it like as like I'm a proper athlete. No, now you do. I go to, now you do, I bro. I go to a chiropractor. I go get cupping, mm. uh, the needles. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, I get adjusted. Like I do proper, yeah. like you know, cold plunges. Like I do this. Like Sauna, I'm, steam room. Yeah, I do this. Like I'm a Graston like I'm a therapy. We do everything, man. When you when you feel like your body, it's like it's like a, it's like a car, bro. If you feel like you're, there's something wrong with your car, you take it to the garage, isn't it? What's yeah. that last one you said? Something therapy. Graston therapy. So what, it's a knife. It? So it's like a oh, it's like, like a metal, knife, metal piece knife, knife and it's scraped. Like scrape microblading kind of. Yeah, like yeah, like yeah. A, yeah. Right. Not not to the degree of yeah, microblading, yeah. but like kind of like that. Yeah, kind so it, basically it breaks down your muscle tissue. It brush, yeah, it makes it, it, it breaks your muscle tissue down. Yeah. So then the blood can get through. Okay, better. right. So more circulation, more, more, circulation. more regrowth, kind yeah, of. Yeah. 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 And have you ever seen anyone else get injured on the bars? Bro, I've, 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 bro, I've seen someone snap their neck in front of me. I no judged the. You remember that? Oh, 
I know a guy landed on his teeth. Oh, bust up his teeth, teeth. bro. Fat and, chunk. And just no. bare blood. And, and this was in man. America. Yeah. And, and he carried on. He soldiered it. No, Bow! But, but listen to was this. Was that Sergio? <laughs> yeah, Sergio. Sergio, but, but yeah. listen to this, bro. Yeah. He's from Spain and he'd done it in America. And he didn't have no insurance. Oh. He had to go back. Bust up teeth, bro. Have to wait. Yeah. Yeah. He and bit he, the bar. Bow! And he, yeah. he won, right? He yeah. won. He bit the yeah, bar. No, we see crazy shit, man. I see. So I was judging a competition, and I remember yeah. judging a competition. I see someone break their neck right there on my table. <coughs> she Damn. let go of the bar and just pow, broke his neck. Ambulance come, put him in a thing, whisked him up. Had to carry on the com- competition. Were they on the table from the bar, or, or just before the table? The floor and table, like on the. F- so they landed on the neck, or yeah, and landed. This way, <laughs> yeah, crazy. It was bro. mad. Yeah, I've seen, we've seen the maddest shit, maddest shit. Yeah. But it is what it is, it's, bro. It's, it's not a demotivation thing. Yeah. Nah, you know what I'm saying. Like, he he <laughs> made a mistake. <laughs> you can do this. He made a mistake. That's why he he got he, he, that and happened like, to him. And like, if you train every move properly, as it should be, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can bust it up in it. And if you master your basics, you won't be like, yeah. you won't get hurt like that. You know what I'm like, saying? I'm the type of athlete, yeah, that like I was born talented, <clears throat> and you have other other athletes is born with hard work. That's me. That's work. me. I was hard you know what I'm working. Saying? Yeah, I could go without work. training for months, maybe a year, and I could still bust it up. Yeah, that's just in me. So and then you got people like hard work, hard work being. I would just, like, yeah, I, I would just train. I would just train my ass yeah. off until until it's done. So yeah, but yeah, we 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 all talented, man. Mm. And you, do you guys take any supplements? Any steroids? Nope. Yeah. No. <laughs> no I'm joking. No, Inject, no, injections. No, no. Listen, everything. <laughs> no, no, everything's everything natural, natural isn't it? Yeah? Everything's mm. natural. Everything come from the earth. Shout out fruit plug, yeah. Fruits. Yeah. Shout out fruit fruits, plug. The veg. Which Flip. which fruits? The fr- exotic, bro, exotic, fruits, exotic fruits, fruits, man. Sour sap, mango steam, mango steam, passion fruit. fruit. You know what I'm saying? Dragon yeah, fruit. Yeah, the dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Like we got everything. We we, bro, we, we, we like we like to look like, after our body. Like on. at the start, we were saying that we don't eat junk food. No McDonald's, yeah. none of them things. Yeah. Obviously, it will be once in a while. Treat nice, nice treat McDonald's. Yeah. But on a regular basis, it's, it's healthy food. Yeah, so natural like, resources in it. And home cooked food as well. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I want, yeah. Yo, at one point I was vegan. Yeah, we were, the whole team was vegan. Yeah, bruv. The whole of our sport was vegan. Do you remember that? Oh, how, did you find it? Huh? how did you find it? Honestly. It was good, bro. Gains. Yeah, it, it made yeah. me learn so many moves and it cleared up my eczema. It cleared up so much stuff. Yeah, it cleared right, up my asthma. Clean. Yeah, yeah. And then I, 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 me personally, I couldn't hack eating like that all, all the time. All the time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was very hard to like, eat like me, that. For me, I started you know, producing reflux acid because I didn't really... Oh, yeah, you like, were in hospital for that, innit? Like, I didn't really... Um, you didn't do it right. I didn't do it right, and I mm. didn't do my research in it. And now I know how to do it properly. Yeah. But back then I was just eating too much beans, too much fiber. Okay. Because right, I thought right. beans, protein. Bare protein. Yeah. So it's just a lot. Loads of. When beans you're vegan, it's hard to thing. get. But you have protein. to mix and blend it. You know what I mean? You gotta mix and blend it. And um, but now I eat. I eat meat. Yeah, you know, I eat meat I eat as well. Meat. So what, what's Fire. the what's the kind of negative around that you said you went to hospital? What was that for? Oh no 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 no! I didn't I didn't really go to hospital. I, you I, you I, go to hospital for the for the stomach? No 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 no! I just started eating meat again and it was good, bro. Oh yeah, it was alright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. But you, you were saying it healed you. It healed the cut. Ca- it healed it healed my asthma. It healed my eczema because I wasn't putting um, GMO shit in my mm, body. I wasn't mm. putting dairy in my body. So like that's what my diet was was dairy ruins your skin, right? And loads of meat, certain types of meat ruins your skin, your, the way you breathe, your lungs, your, your kidneys and shit like that. If you mm. overdose in eating like, I don't know, example, chicken shop stuff, yeah. McDonald's and all of that. If right. you overdose, grease, bro. grease, grease basically. shit, yeah, shit yeah. oils, oils, the, yeah. the oils, the bad yeah, oils, all of that messed, you up, messed me up to the point that when I went vegan, it cleaned me up. Okay, detox, right, right. It detox, so, so you detox. recommend it to people? As a, yeah, as, as a if you do it right, I'm not saying. Like, I, I recommend it when, like, like yeah, yeah, yeah mo- in, in moderation, everything, yeah, yeah. balanced so diet. Like sometimes everything. I would be eating meat for two days. Monday, Tuesday, I'll eat meat. Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be, you know, plant based. Or vegan, you know or what I'm vegetarian. Or, and then yeah, the rest yeah. of the days will be keto, like no carbs. Or salmon, like I'll just mix it up. Or, or, or pescatarian. Just yeah. mix it up, yeah, to the point that it's like you're very balanced. Yeah, you know? you've got to balance it out. Yeah. Right? I think, yeah, there's a positive in anything, isn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely, like do definitely. Yeah. Don't get twisted. Me, I love sugar. I love sweets and shit like that. 
<laughs> like you, you love sweets as well, innit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to a certain extent. But yeah, yeah mm. but you you've got to balance it out, innit? Mm. Like people are too hardcore when it comes to too many stuff. I feel like you need to enjoy your life a little bit. Yeah. Enjoy your life a little so bit. So that's like us. Like that's why we train. That's why I train. If I know that it's cheat meal, I'm doing cheat meal three days. Yo, I'm waking up every day hitting cardio, hitting gym, <laughs> yeah, yeah, twice, yeah, a you week, would... twice a day workout and all of that because I know that I ate like more than 3,000 calories yesterday. Mm. Man's got to bust up at least 500 calories in the gym Yeah. Mm. on cardio. That's how my, my thing works. So it's about if, knowing your body, knowing Yeah, you I, so like we've okay. learned our body to a, cer- to a certain level, yeah, yeah. That, mm. that like we know and we didn't go to school for any, anything. We learned. Anything. We just learn. Just learn with yeah. your own body. We had one yeah. of our friends called Sensei, he was pretty smart and he yeah. was vegan and he was wham, like mm. wham wham. He was massive, innit? Like, yeah, he, like, had, he like, looked like a bodybuilder. Man yeah. had like 8% body fat. And like, he could yeah. do like <laughs> an amazing calisthenics move like human flag and planches and stuff like that. And he was very knowledgeable on, yeah. on, 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 on nutrition. So we took a lot of advice of, from him yeah. as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. An unrelated question though, you're both quite tatted up, you both got a lot of tattoos. Yeah, we blasted. Yeah, blot up, blot up. So for, I, I, me, I, yeah. for me, everything is a chapter of my life. Okay, right. From my chest, I have a piece on my chest, it says without struggle there's no success. Mm. And you know, that's kind of like from when I went to jail, and then I turned that into a success when I come out, I never went back. A lot of people will go in and they get back to that same cycle, I broke that cycle, put it into a good uh, positive thing, mm. and then... You know, like I said, everything is like my son right here. Shout out Eli, my pre- my daughter Precious. You seen her earlier. Yeah. Chosen. You know, boss bar. I was the first ever one to. to How could he bar. get that before me? <laughs> you know what That's saying? what's mad. You know what I'm saying? Spartan. Um, and I got them from everywhere. I got this from Spain when I was judging calisthenics. Mm. One of the guy was, you know, into calisthenics. He tied me out fifty dollars, uh, fifty euros. This one we Good were price. judging in 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 in. in in um, Poland. Let me see that. Remember? Oh yeah, we were, were mid in the middle of a fitness expo competition, <laughs> and he we went there. We, it was a paid job. We went there as a paid job oh, right. as influencers. Yeah, and, and it was it, it was it a tatted, it was a tattoo ta- ta- tattoo convention as well. So it was a fitness tattoo convention, okay, right, and we right. were like, okay, cool, we're gonna m- m- uh, judge this whole massive competition. We went halfway through sixteen man battle. And then it was on a break, basically. Yeah, but a took... break. It was like, oh, you know what? Everyone knows what a break is. A 20, 30 minute yeah. break. And I'm sitting there and I'm and the organizer, the guy that got us, it was in Poland, right? He got yeah. us from the UK to Poland, but it's a paid job. Remember, we're getting yeah. paid to be there. And I'm sitting there and he goes, yo, where's your boy Starboy? We're about to start. I'm, Mom I was I getting blasted, I'm like, I don't boy. know. He <laughs> was, was on the other blasted. side getting tattooed. I was getting blasted. And he was like, yeah, tell them, tell them yeah, I'll be there in a second. So I was like, star, bro. I was getting blasted because to, to me, yeah, if, if, if it's like, it has a meaning, innit? Everything has a meaning, bro. Everything has its We put the whole life. thing on standby <laughs> so like, for his tattoo. Was, was, people, was that spontaneous, that one? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And it says, I appreciate. Okay, right, right. Yeah, that's yeah, appreciate. Yeah, so I go there. I, like, like I tell you, it's a chapter of my life. I, yeah. I, I, it's got little stories in it. Like now, I'm telling you, I was in Warsaw judging calisthenics. Yeah, this yeah. one was is chosen, uh. you know, with the chosen ones and that. And it's, a, it's, it's like a, a chosen logo that my boy has got a clothing line. But this was in Amsterdam. Mm. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And that was through calisthenics too. We always go to Amsterdam. What about your neck, neck piece and stuff? Oh yeah, like? my neck piece. So look, this is a candle that you can see right here, yeah. To me, like I told you, from all the dark past, the candle represents light. You feel yes, me? Yeah. So there's always light under the tunnel, like at the end of the tunnel. There's <laughs> always success no matter what. When it rains, it's always going to stop. You know what I'm saying? So that represents that. And when you look up, it says Precious. That's my daughter's name, Precious. Yes. The two doves represent both my children. Yeah? Eli and Precious. And then <clears throat> that says positive. Everything positive on that. And then this one, it's like a money, put your money where your mouth is. This one, it's like bad bitches, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my mom, my son, my daughter, that was when he, that was when he was two. That was when she was two. Yeah. That was when he's 10 now. And Precious was, what, six, that was, and then that's my mom. Yeah. This is the first, like, like I said, I've, I've never seen that one. I, I'm, that's like, a new one, I did Yeah, see so, from, and then this one, it's like a whole piece. This one, it says, improvise, adapt, improvise, overcome. So in life, you have to adapt, improvise, overcome. And for, for you, you have to always start in the bottom. 
no matter what. So you have to climb up success. This here is the pagoda. It's, it's a temple. It represents, to me, it represents success. Mm. So you got to adapt, improvise, overcome, bro, with life. Yeah. And one you know more on your face, isn't it? Oh yeah, so. this one, love, mm. humble love. Oh, humble love, okay. Yeah, humble love. And yeah, this guy is trying to persuade huh? me to get one. Nah, nothing no? yet. Nah. Okay, okay, legs, legs clean, yeah? Yeah, bro, this shit's expensive, you, bro. bro. <laughs> mad expensive, wow, bro. Imagine, My neck yeah. piece was 3K alone. Damn. Yeah, what, what are your yeah, tattoos? Yeah. Tat Huh? Yeah, I got a handstand doing my neck piece. Yeah, tell them about the story. <laughs> oh, bro, shit. my tattoos is, 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 is like... So this whole arm is family, it's family, all family related. This is my, my first mum that adopted me that passed away when I was 10. Mm -hmm. And this is my second mum that, that adopted me now. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And this is my stepbrother's name. He, he was in a, a mad bike accident. So I got it. He like, passed away? No. But well, obviously we're not gonna yeah. um, kind of blur out the name because yeah yeah uh, yeah that's for my brother. Um, boss Barter's family, of course, my company, my family. We're not gonna go over these tattoos here. We're not gonna go over them. They're different. They're yeah. Um, you got good life here, and we got the Spartan themed tattoo here. This is it's I don't unfinished. know. Unfinished. It's unfinished. Like yeah. Still do, got a piece do you remember right? when? Oh, oh, oh. Do you remember in the film Three Hundred where the um, Leonidas kicks the messenger yeah, yeah. in the hole? That's, the that's exactly part. what it is. Kick oh, all the right. pagans in the hole. That's that's <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Because there's so many people in your life that you you have to put them in a hole. Mm. Not in that way, as in like I'll bury them. But you, yeah, you get me. Um, you gotta cut people off, man. Cut people. Yeah. Off. Thank, you. You Thank down, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, down, yeah. You gotta just. You got you gotta move on. If you're not moving, if you're not doing, you're not doing forward stuff. That's it, you exactly. got, got left behind bro. I've got mm. two girls here, like two girls here, one's bad, one's good. Okay. Um, we're not, we're, you'll probably see it on my gram. And yeah man, I've got, got a religious piece here, it's a rosary bees with angels. I used to be religious when I was younger. Mm. Um, yeah, and I've got a, I got a gang related, kind of gang related one back here, but we're, we're not going to go over that one. Legs? Nah, I was actually talking to him in the car about <laughs> getting a leg piece though. I want to get a yeah. whole leg piece. But phew, yeah, the pain, yet, yet, it's the yet, pain, yet, I can't yet. handle the pain no more, bro. Yeah. He cheats, he what, cheats. How? Bruv, I put the, the numbing cream. Oh. I'm not gonna cap, bruv, I, I do that. Cause I, have... <laughs> I didn't know about that until bro. he told me. Bro, listen, so I suffered piece? my whole neck, yeah. my whole neck, my yeah. My neck piece <laughs> was six yeah. hours. This neck piece was six hours. And like, imagine, I'm like this for six hours. Bro, anyway, my, yeah, I don't know what, what three was hours mine? in, <laughs> I was crying, bro. I swear that, like, no word of light, like, nearly tears coming out. Can my boy's like, yo, we got numbing cream. I was like, bro, why didn't you tell me, man, from the start? <laughs> Three hours ago, yeah. yeah. I didn't know this until I got my whole neck done. <laughs> but it works. It works for, like, two hours. Have you, so you haven't tried the numbing mine, cream? Mine was 12 hours, all, all in all, because mine, Damn. like, 12 hours, but Double. I didn't I didn't know until he, he, he was like, numbing cream, oh, you should use this thing. I was like, bro, I've got half my neck done. Like you should have told me ages so ago. So you were doing a handstand while you were getting done? Yeah, my, my, the pieces on my ears, yeah. The, the, yeah. I think that's the pound sign and the dollar sign. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got them in a handstand. But boy, that hurt, boy. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I can... Ha I, don't, I can't hack tattoos now compared to before. <laughs> Basically, we hate, getting, we hate the, the process. The pain, yeah, but the, the results is nice. I got this done when I was 13 years old. This whole piece I got done when I was 13 years old. Like, the baby's not supposed to be that fat. But it was fat, innit? Yeah, I got it done. Is, in, is that in the UK? Yeah, yeah I got it done in a, in, in, in a trap yard back in the day. But I got it, got it done when I was 13, bro. And, and, and it's stretched out and, and stuff like that. But it's like a memory for me. This is how his are all the stories. Mine are all like piece, individual pieces, like a story for so me. So you've done the tattoo? I can't, I can't, I can't. No, but like a, a friend. A friend, yeah, 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 it was a friend. Yeah, yeah. A friend, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I would always have the hookup. Yeah. This, this, bro, piece, when I was 13, this whole piece bro. was 450, bro. See, lucky, bro. That's good. It's crazy. When I was 13, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. Always, <laughs> no, it is. Oof. That's why <laughs> mine's taking long. Because mm. if I had my girl, my wife, yeah, blasted. Yeah, she's head. blasted. She got she's no blasted. space. And oh, like her right. back, just, uh, no, her, the whole tattoo alone right now, as of now, yeah, probably like 20, 30 racks. Mm. What, your whole body? Her body. Oh, uh, what about yours? <laughs> probably like 10. Yeah, I think I think right now, I think 10. because of this is it's a bit too much. Yeah, probably ten. But well, I guess there's a price that you would have paid and a price that someone else would. Nah, have paid. nah, nah. Like this, his so his artist <laughs> right now is the one of the top artists here, yeah, and they're on like one fifty an hour, innit? They're, they're more, more now, bro. Two bills an hour. They're more now, but Crazy. because we know them, 
yeah. we know them it's a bit yeah, different isn't it? we, it's so a bit it's different. Like, if you're getting yeah. tied up you gotta know your people yeah. and don't ex don't 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 go for cheap because mm. if cheap, it's cheap uh-uh. yeah it's gonna come shit bro yeah when i was 13 actually i, I could handle the pain now i'm 28 oh my days they put a needle on me bro oh, i'm crying bro it's mad you guys got quite a lot of followers on instagram as well mm-hmm. how do you how would you say that you got that much following? How, how did it happen? From traveling, bro. I'm from, telling from, you. The from network. traveling and just from networking from ne- people. Bro, yeah. imagine, like from said, opening our mouths, bro. By yeah. meeting people in general, right? We just met people in general and people just liked us and they would follow yeah, right. our journey and w- what we could do. I feel like people follow us, G. Uh, I'm going to speak on, on, on your behalf. People follow us because they like us, bro. And they like what we do as a, as an, as a collective. Not right. our skill set, but just in general. Yeah. Like we're, we're, just our aura. Yes, our energy, like, yeah. Yeah, we're just mm-hmm. energy gang, you know? Like... Like I said, we've been doing this for 10 years, bro. We've been, yeah. we've been doing all this content stuff before it was kind of famous. Yeah, now everyone's on it, yeah? And now everyone's starting and they're trying to build up their... T- bro, now, like, we've come from, from everywhere, bro. You know what I mean? Just traveling, network, network. Networking and marketing, Spartan. And like, yo, like, if you're trying to do stuff, you got to be on point. you got to be... On brand, professional. Yeah, marketing is key, number one. Like you gotta market yourself, and you gotta kind of like. At one point, we were sponsored by bare brands. We were like walking, walking billboards, billboards bro. But how do you get the clubs? All right. So for me, I'm the type of guy that would hit up any brands. I would okay. hit up fifty brands. And, and the way I think, if one of them will co- will hit me back up, we're good. Mm. And then from then on, it's always been on some, like, I always do stories. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? We'll be on point. Stories, posts. Back then, there was no stories, bro. Mm. When we first started, it was just mm. posts. It was 15, it was sec- just- 15 second Instagram yeah. posts in a square, bro. Back then, Oof. it was just pictures, even. Yeah. Just pictures, bro. There's no story. It's just pictures, yeah? So, if you're a real, if you know about Instagram back then, it was mm. just pictures. And then, the, and then the video come up, 15 second. And then the 16th second, and then stories started coming out. Yeah, the stories. Yeah. And, and now reels. Yeah. And reels. It became, it became like we were. And all of these madness things, man. Mine's this. been there from the get go, innit? Mm. And then when I, when I was in America, only Americans can get paid from the reels. The UK and the whole world didn't even get to do that. Is there, uh, is there quite a lot of money in reels? Nah, now. No, no, now there's no money. Let me no tell you this. Okay, now, right, right. They, it was like a test, right? But I was like, I was making money on reels. At one point, you, there's certain levels where, you know, you you get so if you get a hundred, if you get a hundred mil, you get eight bags. Mil what? views, views, views. Oh, yeah. so what across the videos or one video? Yeah, no, no, across across no, like a, across a yeah, month, a month. Yeah. So you would basically, I've worked oh, out. Right. You had to make 150 reels in one month in 30 days, yeah, for you to get, and they have to all be at least. 50k views for okay, you right. to make that eight bags. I worked it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it worked out to be like, yo, it's. it's That's why the Americans, the Americans were on it, bro. Yeah, like they were I, so it was on a it. lot of work, bro. Basically, it's like another job. Yeah. So and, and at one point when it first come out, mom was relying on that piece. Mm. And I was like, you know, fuck this. After a couple months, I was like, you know what, fuck that. I need to get back on my hustle, on 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 proper legit hustle, and you know what I mean. So, but now. <laughs> That was only about what Reels pay was only around for like six months. Yeah. Now mm. the whole world didn't even get to, to experience yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. I see. It was only America. It yeah, was only an American yeah, yeah, account. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah, so like I said, we started from when it was just pictures. Now yeah. it's Reels, it's flipping. There's lives now. There weren't no lives back then. TikTok mm. now, bro. Yeah. People are getting paid yeah. TikTok. So, it's crazy. But yeah, stuff, we've been like, doing this for a little while. Yeah. That's how we built our network. I got, I got, I got. I got a bit lucky because I, I, I became champion. So it was like mm. brands were approaching like me as a athlete. You know, they yeah. wanted me to represent their brand kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's how I got yeah, sponsors yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And I, at the time, my views were crazy. Like, even now, my views are crazy. Like you, I'll upload a video and one thing that we, we stood out was making memes, would make memes. Like, yeah, on some comic yeah. shit. We would make some comic would, stuff. Like, <laughs> so like for, from then to now, yeah, it, it'll be like every two years we'd change up our shit. 
Yeah, it'll be yeah. comic shit, it'll be fitness shit. But you it'll see how like, now it's all trending, you have to follow a trend. Yeah, you have to yeah. follow the trend. Yeah, that's we it. were on just making what we make. Okay, right. If so you your... don't like it, you don't like it. Yeah. But that's how, that's how we, we blew. And so yeah. your content now, would you say you, you kind of follow trends as well? Or yeah, you have to. Yeah, so you yeah. have to. To stay relevant. Like, yeah, you, okay, right, like right, right. Instagram will make we'll follow We'll follow trends, but we'll just use the music and the trend, but we'll do our thing. Yeah, with we'll it. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, we'll own, incorporate yeah. incorporate yeah. our thing yeah. with the trend. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, at what, what point did you did you actually realize? Look, I can do this full time. You know, oh, I can make six a, a years ago. For me, for me, six years yeah, ago, bro. I was making Back I was then. making money from social from media. What stage was this? 2016, yeah. 2017, 2018. Yeah. Is this competition stage or yes. before that? Yeah, yeah. That's when we were when traveling. we were come tra- traveling and making. 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We traveled yeah. for the whole year, bro. Yeah, nice. no word of a lie. My 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 passport had more ink than me. Then yeah 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 yeah. We <laughs> had more had way more stamps on our passport yeah. than we had on our skin, bro. It was crazy. yeah. Back then I had stamps everywhere. Bro. I made friends of, the, of with the people in the airport because they knew that we would just keep going it through. Like yeah, we so just we kept coming through. Just jet life. So we knew. Mm. So we knew from the get go back then. Yeah. That the market inside the business side of the social media was powerful. We knew that. We clocked that for yeah. a long time. Nice, we yeah. clocked that from 2016. And yeah. is that when you started making money from it as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. of course, yeah. bro. Of course. Yeah. And then, like you know, I made money. I made money from from like um, doing stuff for brands. Okay, right, right. Yeah. Like putting a stamp like this, putting a stamp on me, and I do my videos, and the brand will pay me. Like endorsements, yeah. collaborations. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We was, I was, we was under contracts and stuff like that yeah. to do things. And then on top of that, we'd win competitions. Yeah. yeah. We'd win competition. He would get paid to host. He yeah, would get paid yeah. to just <laughs> gas up the I, thing. I, I was the, I was the, the mic man. He was nice, a, yeah. no, what, 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 what do you call it? The mic. We would call you something. Host with the most. Host with the most. Host with the most. <laughs> he would be on the mic, host with hosting, the most. while I was competing for my fucking life, <laughs> yeah? And yeah. I would fly on bars and win the competition while he's there gassing yeah, me up bro. and we so both get like, paid to do it's it. It's like Spartans are, it's bro, good. like we was in there, innit? We was yeah. in the sport. Yeah. Like yeah, we was yeah. athletes, we was organizers. Yeah. We was, like bro, scouts, I- Scouts, we were yeah, scouts, we were like, scouting. I, I was the first guy, I, I was the first guy to, to, to organize a WCO event in the whole of UK, bro. Okay, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah, and it was w- in Bristol. W- WCO, there's only two governing bodies in this whole sport. The Russians, the Russian Federation, and the WCO. Yeah. And WCO are Americans, they're from LA. And anytime, anywhere in Europe, that would they want to do a collaborated WCO event, they have to go through me, innit? A Spartan. Yeah. This guy would always be a judge and an athlete. So we would, uh, or our, our host as well. So we were in deep in the sport. I would sit there and get paid to be like, he won and he won. Yeah. And what does WCO stand for? World, World Calisthenics Organization. Organization. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Yep. Do people in the industry clash at all? Of course, bro. This yeah. is a whole concept. Bro, this is a whole. Bear beef. Bro, I'm There's telling bear you. Bear beef. This is the conflict. Yeah. This is what, uh, this is a good, so that's why. I feel like people were beefing because they were chasing after the clout, they were chasing after the fame, they were chasing after some things that you would get anyways yeah, in the so long run. The reps, man. Oh, yeah. Right, the reps, right, right, right. man. Oh, oh, but in the industry, in the actual sport, yeah, you go on, go. The you, reps, you. man, the reps, man, they, they didn't like us, innit? So the people that do the basics, like just theory, muscle my, ups, pull ups, yeah. dips. Oh, the reps is in the yeah. Just the normal reps, because there was theory, reps competitions. My theory, they couldn't do what we do. There was reps competitions and there you know was freestyle saying? competitions. Like, Some of the freestylers would not do reps. They would just go straight to freestyling. But the, what, 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 what the difference is with us, we were hybrids. We'd we did both. The reps and the freestyle. Mm. So we was hybrid athletes, bro. Real Spartans, innit? We, would, we could bust up fucking... 100 pull ups, nice. Not in one go, but a couple seconds. And then go saying? fly yeah, the next and then And then two. after the reps, yeah. we would fly on the bars, freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the reps, man, not all of them can do that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, we, like I said, there was we bear mash beef. everything there was together. Bear beef. Even to a point, even in the parks, we'll get to a park and then there's <laughs> the reps guys and it'll be like a bit intimidating, blah, blah, blah. Screw, screw us, screw us down and stuff like that. But the good thing about our sport is never a fighting. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Like, yeah. like this is the only sport, yeah, that certain ends would come to North 
and rare, rare, like you know what I mean? I would, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like we went to we went to South. Like we're in South now. We're from I'm from North. He was from Bristol. But we would come to South to work out with guys from South. Nice but that sure. would never happen in any other, any other like any like, other like, sport. Yeah, back then, yeah. yeah. Back then, let me explain this to you. Yeah. Back then, if you're from like anyone, anyone that is like in ends or street, you know, street smart, they would know in it. So you would go out, like me come from Briss, like we would go to to Brixton, yeah, Bricky, real Bricky back then, yeah, <laughs> yeah. real like, Bricky, bro. You would know when it it could pop off any time now, but in the bars or in the bar culture, it's calm in it. It's all love. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's, it's all, all love. love. It's, yeah. all, it's love. all reps. But outside the bar thing, you could pop off any time now. Yeah. 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 It's that, it was that time. We would it? get respect from being in Brixton and stuff like that because of what we do. They're like, oh, we rate your thing. We rate your thing. Oh, you're that bar guy. I get it all the time. You're yeah. that bar guy, innit? Oh, yeah, I rate your thing still. Where you from? I'm like, Camden. Yeah, respect, bruv. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's cool. That's not but really you really know, really. you know, innit? Real recognized, real. You know, it's an on site thing. If it's not, if, if it was like mm. a problem, even, yeah. even now, it would be an on site thing. But through the fitness thing, this is the only sport, I'm telling you, mm. that it could be like that. You can see certain people, certain ends, different ends, different country, because every, every. Different races, different, yeah, different, races. different classes of people. You get someone that's really, really poor that grew up from the street, like us, mm. mixing with people that uh, rode horses and play golf when they were younger yeah. you know like yeah. different cultures like we were in du- remember we were in dubai bro with the princes and the sheikhs and yeah. stuff like that wow, yeah. and telling you, like I'm, they would love us abdullah, for us abdullah yeah, abdullah yeah. But there was one athlete <laughs> called abdullah and he's yeah. he was a next in line sheikh yeah. in dubai yeah. but he would come yeah. but he would compete in our sport yeah. with yeah. us people from the and street they, was, wow. he was rolling yeah he was just rolling with us <laughs> rolling yeah rolling. Cool, yeah. little yeah, he yeah, know bro. what we did when we were younger but yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you but get me like i said it's yeah. like the only sport that would like always be on some fit we we had one language which was the bars bro. was the bars yeah, yeah yeah it was a national language yeah you feel me it was like you do 360 so do i yeah. <laughs> you get we me go, we would go to France, Paris, and it was like a, you know, cultural language, bruv. Mm. When you they don't even the speak, they don't even speak English, but yeah, they were like, you, plan, and they stars. know, and they know, they're like, yeah, boss, part of England. You know what good, I'm saying? Good, good, good. Every country we would go to yeah. is like that. Yeah, I think the beauty of it is that you don't need any money to start as well. You can nah, find a bar, it's free, bro. You can find a bar. You could do it right here. Yeah. yeah, and you just start. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's, it's just, the, it's, it's just starting. It's the hardest thing for everyone, right? Mm. It's starting and trying to stay consistent because. I'll be real, with calisthenics, it's very slow progress. Mm. But the progress is, like, the endorphins and, and stuff that you get from it, it's way more better than the gym. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And it's realistic. Yeah. And I always tell to people, yeah, if you live in a block, if you live in your block, yeah, and the, f- the first five floors are on fire and you have to climb down. Yeah, you have to climb down, climbing, you gotta, you gotta Or climb even down. climb up, boy, I'm good. Or, or even I'm good. climb up. I'm good. So yeah. if you can't hold your weight, Goodbye, man. Yeah, if you can't hold your own body weight, what makes you, you know what makes saying? you think it you can hold weights, <laughs> bro? Like it's crazy. My yeah. mom wants the cliff edge. You know in the movies when they're falling off the cliff. And yeah, like just do a muscle arm. up, man. You're yep. good. You have to pull yourself up. Yep. Yeah, just do yeah, a muscle yeah, up. Bro. You're so good, how many man. Man can make that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So when it really comes down to it, and you can't, when it really comes down to it, because bro, it's coming down to it soon, bro. Hollywood would mm. make us fake it. Oh, just pretend you're gonna die. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm muscling up, bro. What do you mean? I won't. So you got, you got to be able to control your body. Because mm. when it's on, when it's on site, it's, it gets real. <laughs> Competition's good. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, keeps yeah. the fucking, the, the drive alive, innit? We won't mention names, but it's good that the next you know generation, like, next they, generation want to like, point, want, to, want to take people out. You get me? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very good. In, it's the same in every sport. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's always going to be the next generation. There's always people chatting shit, fam. Conor McGregor is always chatting shit, but he would back it. Mm. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, So the competition is yeah. always good. That's good for the sport. We need more athletes. Mm. So what's, what's, your, um, what's your advice for someone who actually wants to start calisthenics? My advice, like I said to you, yeah, you yeah. My, for me, my advice is you just get a, got to get up out of that bed, innit? If you're still in bed, stay in bed, bruv. Yeah? Yeah? If you just got to get out of your bed and just go out to the gym or to the park. Mm. That is the, that's the most important thing. For me, it's consistency. Once you start, you've got to stay consistent. You're not going to see results from doing it 
once or twice a week. You're going to see results if you consistently go at it in anything in life. You know, if you want to start a business, you have to go at it every day. You're going to have losses, but you've got to accept them losses and stay consistent. And that's what happened with us. We stayed consistent. And there was times, bro, where I had to go Tesco's and rob, rob detergent to clean my clothes. There was times where I won the world championships, but I was still poor that I couldn't even buy a car, mm -hmm. you know? Um, there was times like that, but you just got to keep pushing at it. Now, yeah. now, I, I, now I wear, wear gold for fun. So it's, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit it's different now, isn't it? Yeah. You get, yeah. you get me? Life's a journey. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. got to appreciate and be humble in what, what you do. Like, yeah. you just, that, that's it. Be humble what you do. I'll say one thing with the new generation that they, they get a bit over exaggerated, uh, uh, over excited because they get things that very quickly yeah you know yeah. and especially now with the instagram and social media they get very excited mm. you know but um things can just happen bro so you just got to be happy happy for where you come from that's what i would say yeah and mm. what's your advice for someone who wants to do calisthenics on social media how did they get the following so you just gotta keep pushing content yeah bro. it's hard it's hard post, you post, keep post. posting but yeah, now it's yeah. harder yeah, it's, it's harder to hard. do all of that in, try to inspire people rather than yeah. show yourself off. Yeah. That's one thing we did well, was we did show yeah. ourselves off, but we inspired people, we entertained and inspired people. Because that's what the real, that, what does influencer mean? We're influencing yeah, people. Yeah, you got influence yeah. the good, yeah, yeah, positive yeah. energy. Yeah, 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 if, you're yeah. Bu if you're influencing bullshit stuff... But you can't just keep promoting yourself, you know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to uh, help the world. In a, in a different way, whether it's making them laugh, making them be like, oh, I want to do that, or giving them information or tips, you mm. know what I'm saying, on how to start. Like, yeah, that, yeah you get me? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Check out my Instagram, there's loads of posts and inst um, tips yeah, and stuff. my thing as well, yeah, my lifestyle me, thing, me. Miami settings. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and what's, what's the goals? What's the goals in the next couple of years? What, what do you want to achieve? Oh, I will, I will. Shall I go first? Go on. I'm, I'm boxing now, so I've been boxing for the yeah. last year. Um, free or no, you get Sweet. me? Oh, that's, you've done fights already? Yeah, free or no, yeah. done fights. Um, and now my, 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 next, my next fight is going to be a massive debut with Misfits. Misfits Boxing is KSI's organisation, so I'm just waiting for that so, fight this year. Influencer fights, you know. Yeah, I'm going to take over. I'm going to take over. And when I take over, you're going to know. You're going to know. Let's go. Um, so that's my thing. I'm going to try to conquer the, the, my division in boxing. Mm. I, uh, influencer boxing and professional boxing. I want to go into professional boxing. And then when, I, when my youth is probably gone, then I, I want to focus on my business, which is bar sparter. I want to be able to provide loads of workout programs and online training and stuff like that. So with the boxing thing, how did you get into that? How did you transition? I just, I've always loved fighting yeah. when I was in, in general. I've got small man syndrome because I'm small. Uh, um, that, I like, that way it makes you a bit angry or makes you kind of want to... I just, I just feel like I've got so much to prove. I've just oh, got a lot right, to prove. For some, for some odd reason, I've just got a lot to prove because I'm so, I don't know why. I've just always been like that. Yeah. So I just thought, let me, let me do something that I, I like, which is hitting things. I like boxing. So I was going to do MMA, but I thought I need, to learn, uh, uh, I need to learn wrestling. I don't have time. I'm 28. I don't have time to learn wrestling and striking and kickboxing and, 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 and that. So then influencer boxing came and I was like, ooh, this is something I can do. So who's one person you want to fight? All of them. Talk your shit, talk your shit. All of them, all of them. Hey, who wants smoke? <laughs> all of them. Spartan out here, man, who wants Pulley smoke? Pulley Arif, hey. Uncle Pizza, Dean the Great, Walid. all of them. Ooh. Ooh, every <laughs> single one of talk you. Talk your shit, you get <laughs> Every yeah. single one of you, you, I'm coming for you. And when I do come for you, you're going to know. Let's go. You're gonna bro. know. That's that Spartan <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Huh? What round is the knockout? Oh, yeah. do you know what? I'm not even gonna predict. Fancy. I'm not even gonna predict knockout. They're just gonna know the Spartan fist is gonna hit your face and it's gonna hurt. Come and on. you're gonna crumble. <laughs> and you're not, you know, you're gonna feel some next power. And this power didn't come from weights. This power came from pure calisthenics. calisthenics on the bars. Natural bro. power, <laughs> you get me? And it's, on it's the peak. Bars, bro. It's peak, bro. From it's bar, peak. Bro. And I'm light. <laughs> and I'm bar, light bro. as well. I'm light as well, bro. So, uh, like, I'm light, but you're gonna feel like someone that's 90 kg hitting you. And it's gonna hurt so bad. And I'm gonna laugh in your face as well. And it's gonna be so glorious. Oh, he's talking this shit. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you got me hot. I got me hot. I, got my, I can't, you got me hot. I know your fights on YouTube. Yeah, I, got, I, I basically I took two of the fights down because they were way too good. 
Like they were way, <laughs> like, like they, they were too good. Yo, man's fully talking this shit. Let's go. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Shit, let's I go. Took, but bro, do you know how hard it is for me to get a fight and misfits? But they, I've, my contracts have been offered to so many people. No one's, no one's accepting it. Even a champ, he didn't accept it. I'm not gonna call out names. Don't call out names. Cool. But I'm, he, 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 he didn't accept the fight. I don't know why. Talk I, your shit. Bro. I don't know why, but it is what it is. I'm gonna work up my ranks and I'm gonna get there. <laughs> yeah. But I took two of my fights down because they were way too good. I looked way too good compared to the, the, my opponents. Oh, people be studying that shit. Yeah. Yeah, and so now I'm keeping my shit hush hush. So right now you you, you I I can't fight. Just put it that way. I can't fight. <laughs> okay, influence mm. of boxing, yeah. Yeah. And what's yeah. what's your goals? So for me, yeah, I'm more into like I got a bigger picture on this whole calisthenics thing. Like I wanna okay, right. right now I'm in the I'm in like a project where I'm trying to let people know the bar culture. You know, like people need to know where the actual culture come from. So for me, it's like educational stuff. Eventually, like, you know, we be in the schools and whatnot. I want it to be a national sports worldwide, innit? I want calisthenics to be, you know, in every PE class. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and then... You're into the your side, video, into yeah, body videography yeah, and so filming. In the side as well, I picked up photography, videography, <laughs> because I used to, you know, be in front of the camera more. I, 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 I still model now, you know, but I used to do a lot of modeling back then when I was in England. Mm. But now I'm more into the videography stuff, you know, like like you guys. I, I bang studios, yeah. Yeah, I bang I bang visuals. Check that out, innit? Man, man's got everyone on visuals. there. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, you get me, man. Man shot Kodak Black. You know what I'm All saying? Right. Yeah, it's Kodak Black, Floyd Mayweather, Lamar Jackson, like the highest paid NFL um, quarterback right now. Go check it out, innit? I bang visuals. Nice. Man's plugged up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but. I'm trying to be more into the, you know, production side mm. of things and also with the fit with the fitness side I'm trying to do like I said the educational stuff, retreats, um, activations cuz that's what I do now. Like with me and my wife, my wife is like a celebrity trainer right now, yeah. So we she gets booked from these brands and we curate activations for all these brands. So if you're any brands out there, yeah, you want activations, come hit me up. So he'll be like Virgin Active, go to Virgin Active, oh, yeah, 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 make their own class and yeah, he'll, like, he'll provide a service. Yeah, know? not even a service, it's like, like a, we'll curate activations. If you don't know what activation is, for example, you're Nike and I'm coming to you and basically I curate everything from the athletes, from the influencer, I'll find everyone. It's like a producer, yeah. you know, like all the producer will, will curate makeup artists. Okay, the yeah. art, the camera one, camera two, drivers, yeah, models, actors. So I'll, with the fitness world, we'll curate all of that. I'll find the venue, yeah, I'll find the venue, I'll find the, the catering, the I'll, influencers. Find, I'll find all the influencers, wow. and everything will get branded and marketed. Yeah. So you're basically managing the whole project, or put, yeah. putting everything together. He's a project so, manager. So like, no, that's that's be, that is the best way to say it. Not even, not even. <laughs> we curate, we curate stuff. It's, right now, it's yeah. not, it's not a hype thing. Right now, it's not popular in the UK yet. Yeah. Yeah. In America, everyone's doing it. Every brand's doing it. Tequila companies, any fitness brands, hotels, restaurants, they're doing activations. That's what it's called. Okay, right, yeah, right, right, right now it's not popular in, in, in the UK, yeah. but although I, 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 I salute man like Michael Dapper, he did one activation, yeah, with Wingstop for his belly muscle. Oh yeah, muscle. yeah, he did, he did, he did, did, he, did, did, he, did. he did the Wingstop activation, yeah, so he basically went to Wingstop and said, yo, I'm doing an activation, it's like a, it was like a, a sports day, I think it was called, and he got Gymshark to sponsor all the gear, Wingstop sponsored all the food, and you know, he had all the shooters there, and he probably got paid. Mm. You know he probably saying? he did get he got yeah. no he, he did get he, he ate I know he ate <laughs> yeah you ate good my brother wings, yeah? Yeah. so that's an activation <laughs> mm. right now no no one's doing it right now out here only like the big names but it's not popular yet because okay, back right. home every influencer every city and every influencer is doing this thing isn't it do you feel like America's ahead of England of course with yeah. this kind of stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. with this kind of yeah. stuff yeah. Yeah. With this kind of stuff, like not the whole America, yeah, all the, all the major states, Miami, LA, New York, ATL, Vegas, those five, Texas, even Texas popping now as well, mm. yeah, like everyone's on this activation stuff. So that's London's what London's far behind, man. UK yeah, is far, very far yeah, behind. In, in certain the things, only thing bro. that you guys are ahead of is fashion. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, course, because yeah, bro. because we got um, bloody Europe next to us, bro. Yeah, fashion. Yeah, I mean, now listen, look. Yeah. So. 
In, in the fashion world, that's what my favorite thing to shoot. In the fashion, I'm in the fashion industry, yeah? So I work with this New York um, agency called State Management. Mm -hmm. I do all the lookbooks for all the new models that comes into the, 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 the management. And you know, Fashion Week, Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, yeah. fire, bro. Mm -hmm. But then here, when it comes to London, fire. Everyone's there. I'm talking all the industry mans are there. You go to, I don't know if you've seen the Fashion Week in Paris, what, what Pharrell did. Everyone, oh, bro, was, there, everyone yeah? was there, yeah. Skepta yeah, was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. All the K artists were there. there. Everyone the was artists. there. Central C, Dave. The, K Trap is fucking from here. He's from even, here and he even, was there. Even Dave yeah, yeah, walked yeah. the Louis Vuitton Fashion Week. Yeah. yeah, in Paris. They're starting to clock so, onto our cultures more. So I feel like... Uh, our feel cultures, like, right? Street, street culture. Nah, it's nah, a fashion. Nah, nah. Like, like, bro, just... Mm. I'm talking major cities. London Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week and Italy. That is the major fashion capital of the world. Mm, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. So lo that's the only thing that is like popping. Or like that's been around here that I feel like... And now, in the movies, all the sickest... Actors right now, yeah, are, are British, bruv. Oh, yeah. Snowfall, true, yeah. Snowfall. Yeah. It, it, it just yeah. Alba, it just Alba. American characters. Yes, bruv, yeah. and they're yeah. sick with it. They're yeah. sick with it, bruv. So right now in the fa in, 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 in that industry, yeah. Because right now also, bruv, in LA, they're on strike. All the writers are on strike, bruv. There's no movies. That, yeah. Why? There's no movies right now, bruv. Why? <laughs> Uh, no, about they're about not pay or something. Yeah. yeah. Pay? So all yeah, the writers. Yeah. Right oh, what now. do you mean pay? They get bills. <laughs> nah, I'm out here struggling. <laughs> Apparently, they're not, they're not making as much as they should. Yeah. Ah, okay. they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So all so the writers are on strike. Yeah. All the writers are on strike right now. So all productions on hold. Yeah, bro. Crazy, all productions yeah. on hold. But guess what? Wow. They're coming to Miami though. Because we <laughs> lit. They come to Miami. They come to LA. No, no. All the LA production. Most of the production company in, in America is in LA. Mm. Yeah. Hollywood, LA. But they're all coming. They're venturing out. They're in New Orleans. Cause it's cheaper, Miami. It's cheaper, New mm. York. They're coming to, you know what I mean? They're at ATL, sorry, not New York. ATL. Even like you know, all the series and stuff are in New York. But yeah, so I'm trying to get into all of that. Cause like now I'm in in America and in, in Miami. There's more opportunity than calisthenics. Yeah. Mark, America now is a bigger pond. I can't just be Cali. But every time ask me what you do, calisthenics, bro. Calisthenics. I do all this crazy <laughs> shit. That's what I tell them. And then they yeah, go on my Instagram, they're like, oh shit. You do a lot more. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to push calisthenic in the industry. Mm. In right? the industry that everyone knows about. Yeah, yeah, in the industry, in the film, in like music. That's why, I'm, I, that's why I'm doing boxing as well, so it'll be so, fair as well. Mm. That's the goals. I have a lot of goals. And obviously, like I said, now I, I, got, I got a house, I'm paying mortgage. I want to get a couple more houses, you know what I'm saying? Not just in America, <coughs> out here and in the Philippines. So I'm on all of that, man. B big goals, innit? Big dreams in that, you know? Big oh, that's dreams. good, definitely, yeah. yeah. And what would you say inspires you guys? Life. For me, life. Drive. My wife, bruv. She fucking non-stop. Yeah, your, your work Killing is non-stop. Well, the work rate. What? what? The work rate. Yes, bruv. Yeah. Killing it. I she died. just did a workout for flipping Virgin. Mm. Or it was, like a, it was like a retreat, but it was in, in Virgin. We met from... Richard Branson was on the boat, bruv. Nice, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And her so, socials again, Baby Mama Fit. Baby Mama Fit, check yep. her out, man. She got a, a, a woman community. Yeah, mm. the women, you know they stay saying? tight, bro. They stay tight so together. So check her bro. out. Yeah. She's out there, innit? We outside, mm. bro. And when she gets booked, we come as a package. I'm the shooter. Okay, okay. I do all the photography and videography when we, mm. when we do this, this, good, this yeah. retreats and, you know, activations. Mm. So that's how I network. So yeah. My, 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 I don't know who my, my motivation, I think, has come from my upbringing. That's, that's it. That's what inspires you, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like I don't want to, I don't want, I, I want to be the last of my family tree to experience what I experience. Okay, right, I see, yeah. I want my family tree now to be all upper middle class. That's, that's it, a, that's from me afterwards. Yeah, yeah. That's my motivation. That's motivation nice. is to not let them know that. Well, they have to know where I came yeah. from, but to not know, not, not to do the struggles that we went through. Yeah. You get yeah, me? Yeah. That's my motivation. Awesome. My motivation is to just, to make it out, bro, to make it out of the hood. I'm always going to be the hood guy, it's always going to be there. Mm. But that's my motivation, that's definitely. Good, yeah. yeah. No kids yet? Nah, no kids. No kids. 28, no kids. No kids. Relax. <laughs> yeah, Any plans? Definitely relax. Yeah. Any plans? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. No, not yet. Nah, man. I feel never, like. Never, never. Not, not now. 
But I'm saying, he's he, he asking you any plans. Oh, the missus is oh, going to watch future. this now, bro. In the near future, yeah, near future. Oh, in the near future, future. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, in like three, three years. <laughs> Okay, no, I understand, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, around, that's around the corner, bruv. Well, I'm 28. <laughs> Yo, she watching. That's around the corner. Cause... Don't do that, bruv. <laughs> Yo, that's on tape. We ain't editing that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> no, three no. years, three years, I think I will have kids, definitely. Yeah, okay, no, that's fair enough, yeah. So about mm. 31 max, 32-ish. Yeah. If it happens, that happens, but yeah, I'm not going to yeah. intentionally make Try, it happen. Yeah, you get yeah. me? I want to, bro, I want to I wanna have like at least a couple M's before I can... Um, have a have a child you know what i'm saying like yeah. he's very fortunate to have his his baby girl and baby I was boy young, innit? and yeah. and but you you looked after them you know what i'm saying i don't want to be able to go and train my ass off for a fight while i have a kid while yeah. my wife is going through some stuff you know what i'm saying i don't want to be able to start a business and and trying to look after a kid that's too much you you're 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 an exception bro you did it you did it you know what I'm you, saying? Would you say it's quite to. hard? It's quite hard? Course, you have to just bro. push through? Bro, it's hard, bro. It's hard, yeah. It's hard, and it's especially like, when I had my youth, yeah? I was young, bro. Yeah. 21, yeah. when I had Eli. And at the time, I was still a, I was still a youth, bro. I wasn't ready to grow up. But like... Like, even now, happened. we're working now, doing an interview podcast, and Precious is here. But I've, I've always been that yeah. type of, you know, person. Mm-hmm. They would always roll deep with me. Yeah. No matter what, yeah. you know, she'd always be at the parks. So, yeah, bro. No, that's good. That's yeah. just how it is, man. I was gotta make it make sense, bro. No, you know true. what I mean? And what's what's the dream collab? Who would it be with? Ooh, I don't know. That's that's a good question. <laughs> dream collab. <laughs> the, the, so, the you know, for me, yeah, collab, for yeah. me, yeah, I would love to collab with Michael Rubin. You know who Michael that? Rubin is? No, no, explain. Bro. Who's Mike, Michael Rubin? Bro, Michael Rubin owns Fanatics. Oh, Fanta- uh, Fanatics, I think, yeah. He owns all the, the jerseys for all these sports. So, oh, right. I don't know if you ever, you know, have you ever, have you ever heard of that, that famous all-white party? Yeah. In have, the Hamptons. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's at his house. Okay, he's, oh. the, he's the godfather. Yeah. Brother, he made the Hamptons and everyone's there. Mbappe was there this year. Mbappe. Yeah, all, like all everyone, everyone, everyone. Mbappe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kim, Jay-Z, Jay-Z Beyonce, mm. everyone was that's there, a bro. Good, that's a good collab, Check it out. Bro. Check it out, Michael Rubin. Is that through fashion? Every, bro, this, I'm talking to you everything, bro. Okay, right. He's everything, fashion. Yeah. Everyone's there. Music. Fashion, music, mm. rappers, sports. Yeah. All the hottest sports right now, they go to, like, he knows, innit? You got to check it out. I think my dream collab has definitely got to be every single big influencer. I'm not even trying to narrow... I think everything, every big influencer like the KSI, the Jake Paul, the Logan Pauls, you know, yeah, <gasps> yeah, the the the, the Deggies, you know, just just. But I'm already in that industry. It's just trying to yeah. trying to trying to do it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, just yeah, that's that's my. That's, so that sounds a bit more boxing as well, isn't it? Yeah, so it's, still, it's a bit more boxing. Line, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm, Even yeah. like the Floyd Mayweather's, the Anuays, the. The, the Canelo, just just all different types of people. Even to, even Conor McGregor, Con, all of them. <laughs> if you had to pick now, you had to pick one. If you had to pick one, what about Tank? You know that Tank. Yeah, and Tank, yeah, Tank. Of course, Tank's Tank. A bad way of of course, good, Tank. Yeah. But I, yeah. I don't know who. <laughs> okay. man. If I had to choose one <laughs> yeah. to collab with, yeah, that would. You know what? I'm gonna use my brain. I'll probably choose KSI. Okay. Because he will change my life. It, it, not him. Yeah. It will change my life forever. Just yeah. trying to have him as a collab yeah. will change my life, will put me in a pla- little stepping stone to, so I can promote calisthenics. Because I'm sure if I met KSI in person, which will definitely happen this year, he will know, right, this, this guy's mad strong, from what? Yeah. You know, so I'm thinking outside of the box here. I'm thinking like it, it will push me into different places. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a good answer, yeah. 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 That's pretty much a wrap, you know. <laughs> Once ran out of questions. Huh? I could do this all day long, guys. Right, let's let's ah, do socials one do. more time. Huh? Socials one more time. Hey, yo, follow me in it. Start with UK. And follow me, Small Spartan J. And follow my business, Bar Sparta. And follow his business. I bang visuals, innit? I, I think they should. I think they should. Hey. Right there. Yeah, wait, show wait, the Bar Sparta logos, man. Let's yeah, see the Bar Sparta logos. logos. You got this thing right there. Look at this. Put it right here, G. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Spartan. See how his one is, is like <laughs> white, uh, white and black, and mine's black and white. You get me? Oh yeah, I got I'm that as a pendant. pendant. Yeah, oh, I forgot about spot. that. Yeah, oh, I forgot right, about right, that. Right, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's mad. Yeah, that's mad. 
But yeah, man, follow the socials, guys, and make sure you Look, hit it up. Follow the socials, bro. Follow the <laughs> socials. Starboard.uk. And, don't, and don't, don't feel a way to message us and be like, yo, oh, Look, what workout, some blah, 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 blah. Who do you see on the business page, bro? Who do you see the business page, bro? Look. Man, like, Floyd, come on. Come on, yeah. He's shouting man out as well. Yeah, you don't Whoa. need to show them that. Bro. Come on, fam. <laughs> Look, you have to go check it out, fam. Look, there, come on, cuz. Thank you. Kodak. You see Kodak there, bro. Come on. Yeah, just make sure, make, out, make sure out, you message us. If you, follow, if you want to follow us and stuff, make sure you message us and just give us your honest opinion. The more the merrier. Comment, like, even subscribe, all of that. And you just, just make sure you hit us up. Don't feel a type of way, because people always be like, oh, the influencers, they got a blue tick. They don't feel a type of way. Nah, man, we're normal people, as you can see. We're normal people. We're just trying to make it like everyone else. That's it. Mm -hmm. You get me? Bless. Rap. Rap.